Hello, Internet friends. It is Saturday night. Thank you so much for spending part of your geek end with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, I want to start off right off the top. This is a weird time in the world, and there's all sorts of unfortunate things going on. And I want to exhort you, as I've done before, to f seek out voices of people of color, especially Black voices, in the tabletop role-playing world. This is the time to braise those voices up and to, and to find them out. If your Twitter or your social media timeline is a bunch of white people talking about racism, you need to spread it out. Find people of color. There is an amazing account on Twitter, at P-O-C-T-T-R-P-G-S, at People of Color Tabletop RPGS. He is doing amazing things to bring vo uh, diverse voices in, uh, uh, in gaming to people's attention. It's well worth a follow. Uh, I have been retweeting him a lot. I think that the more, right now it's incumbent on all of us to use what platforms we have to echo and elevate the voices of people of color right now. Um, to that end, I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, Here to Stay. The Here to Stay program is uh, a, a great program. It is, uh, a, it, it's a fund all the proceeds from the shirts go to a fund, and each month that fund goes out to five people in the R of color in the RPG community. It's just a grant to them to do awesome stuff. Uh, support this. This is a way that you can be an ally in this sort of thing. Uh, you can find these shirts on SoNerdware.com. Seek out streams that have people of color, a full people of color cast. Look at Rivals of Waterdeep. Rivals of Waterdeep, amazing D&D &D stream, all people of color cast. We've got, you know, we have uh, Chaos Agents and uh, uh, the, the uh, 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 what is it, Carbon 2185. We've got a number of people of color on those things. We really try and have as diverse uh, a, a, an, a group of players as we can, and I hope you will too. Find people of color to be in your games. If you're running games on a stream online that you don't have to be physically in the same place, there's no excuse not to have people of color in your group, in your, in your cast of characters. There's just not. Uh, um, we need to diversify this world and we need to bring new voices into it. It's super important. Uh, and now I'm breaking things. See, that's when you know, you hit the desk too hard when you're getting fired up and stuff falls off. Um, all right, that is, that is far too much of a screed from me. Uh, we are so glad you're here. Tonight, we have two giveaways. Thanks to Lonely Yeti, that crazy man, Lonely Yeti. He is, uh, he is uh, uh, given us a physical copy of the Cthulhu starter set and also a, uh, uh, also a, a PDF one. So the physical one, we're giving out on this stream. It'll be hashtag chaos at the break. I think it's just a hashtag chaos. It's one hashtag, one long hashtag chaos at the break. Uh, for YouTube, we're going to have a YouTube giveaway for that uh, uh, for that uh, digital, that PDF of the starter set. So uh, we'll give you the details on that coming up. Oh, man. Um, how's everybody doing? As good as we expected. Yeah, yeah. The... The world is the world is a crazy place right now, and you know all we can do is try and make each other smile. That is a, a little thing we can do. Uh, and drink beer. Mm. <laughs> Cheers to that, that. You know, not only that, uh, uh, it's happened again. My fa my second favorite Twitch user, Jay Matthews eighty five, is going crazy. He has gifted five subscriptions, including Yay. one to one of our players. It's nice to know Tom Tom Ogus finally decided to subscribe to <laughs> Chaos. Tom. <laughs> I can watch the show now. This is great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to fly the flag, yes. Tom. Jay Matthews85 also gave the players 500 bits for mustaches. Hey. There you go. So that brings our bit total to five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, thank you so much, Jay Matthews. I also want to shout out my, I guess now my third, well, your favorite Twitch user, because uh, earlier today, my wonderful wife ran a D, she was a GM, she ran a D&D &D game uh, for what? some friends online. 
I I did her the um I did her the 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 honor of not being she should not have had me at her table that would be mean to do to her so I uh, I did not play but she did a great job and her player I heard much laughter from the before I left in disgust. <laughs> God. Uh, so Rachel, nice job, and uh, we had Tom also, our very own Tom Ogus, who recently subscribed to Quests and Chaos, which so we're very <laughs> excited about that. You can uh, tell us what ran, happened on the show now. I know. Look at it. It's, a, it's yeah. up to the moment. Um, he ran. I think you've done it twice now, right? You've run two, uh, uh, two Call of Cthulhu one shots for folks who've won that starter set. Yeah. Now that I'm in GM mode for Ramon, I'll take the mustache off so I can talk about it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wait, I have to. Ow. <laughs> ow. Uh, yeah. And uh, again, I did Tom the honor of not having me be at the table because no one deserves that. But uh, everybody on, on Discord said that they really enjoyed it, and uh, uh, I know that Tom has more stories to tell. If we get some more winners, which it sounds like we'll get at least two more winners. There you go. I'll yeah. Put together another one in the next month or two. It'll be a lot right. of fun. Uh, I think it's going to be. It's. I, I'm excited about that. We've got Amy running Mittens. We've got Tom running uh, Cthulhu. Nick, ah! pretty soon you're going to be running the My Little Pony RPG. Yes. Oh my God, yes. My kid wants in on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you want the book? I have the book, Nick, if you need it. It's actually Jill's book that I borrowed because her, her boys refused to run the My Little Pony RPG. Oh, oh man. What? <laughs> Wait, what? You Which can't trust me to run music? something. <laughs> Not be coherent. <laughs> We okay, this mustache isn't letting me laugh. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> smiling. It all comes apart. Like, it's not Among not all not. of you, Amy's mustache looks like it's digitally like superimposed. I thought the it same thing. It looks like it's thrown with a sharpie. <laughs> it looks there like there's... Yeah, can we just put blue dots on and... Uh... <laughs> CGI them in. Aren't we at the age yet where we can finally do that? Um, not yet. Uh, all of our special effects budget is spent to like uh, uh, keep me looking skinny. Yeah, don't know. Yeah. Bad news, Ezra. Yeah, that that yeah. ran out a long time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I wasn't going to go there. I'm going to I'm gonna go eat more gummy bears. <laughs> In sadness. Uh, so last time, you guys met Jack Brady. Uh, he downloaded a, a ton of uh, a guff to you, and he, uh, he let you know that he had a huge plan to, he was building an army to go kill Sir Aubrey Pinhew. Uh, he also let you know that uh, he was working with the uh, the New China Front, and then you proceeded to meet everybody who you proceeded to get caught up in the uh, intricate and labyrinthine uh, <laughs> politics of uh, Shanghai, and find out that no one likes anyone else, and everyone wants to pay you to kill someone. We're getting paid. <laughs> Well, I mean, you're, you're theoretically getting soldiers out of it. I guess cutting out the middleman. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a boat involved. There, yes. Yeah. There's a boat involved. And a tank. There's always a boat involved. <laughs> and uh, at the end of our last episode, we uh, you found in a in a in some sort of horrible torture device, you found poor Lee Wen, who had been uh, uh, who had been caught and tortured and used in some sort of horrible ritual to make a copy of himself that had uh, uh, convinced Emma that he was her holy warrior. And she had sent him off to uh, the to Mr. Mu, the guy who was translating uh, the seven cryptical books of Hassan. And sadly, those books have been taken by Ho Fang. And so it looks like you know, you guys probably have some business with Ho Fang now. And uh, I believe as of the start of today uh, in game time, you have five days until you are supposed to be uh, boarding a Japanese destroyer to go uh, blow up Grey Dragon Island. Is it, a, is it a new day? What day is it today? I don't know. I was just looking. Um, while What's I'm the looking last at thing? That, we did get from our favorite Twitch user. 500 bits. I said nice things about you. <laughs> Take it back. 
it's it's um, so interesting to watch a marriage fall apart in real time. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so it's really taking its time. If we're at the end of so the last day that we found everybody was on the tw April twenty seventh, so we could be April twenty eighth if it's the next yeah. day, or are we yeah. still are we April twenty eighth? Okay. Yep. My 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 hit points want to know this. Do yeah, hang on. Oh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, every so if you rest, you get it. You get a day's rest. Everybody gets a hit point back. Okay. Uh, and yeah, it is the morning of the twenty eighth. Yep, and we were just raided by Knight's Heart Gaming. Oh, so nice. if Thomas yells through the window, do we do a giveaway, Thomas? Are you yelling through the window? <laughs> yeah. Thomas, raid. I hear yes. Are you ready? So wow, hashtag right. chaos. Yep. So hashtag chaos in the chat, and you will win one of these two decks by nord games nice <laughs> welcome yeah. nightheart gaming you are just oh, i have to read it hold on i have to read it so i have to put it this way it's the luck deck or the critical hit deck <laughs> hang on now you can see it now that i've read it uh so we uh uh hashtag chaos right now in the chat we're going to be doing a giveaway for uh because we got raided thanks so much for joining us yep. so um all I had to do was mention a Japanese destroyer and people just come running in. <laughs> As you uh, do. So it is the morning of the 28th and you guys have, you you went through Mr. Moo's house and you, uh, you found that it had been tossed and he had been killed and uh, you, uh, you fought a weird blood monster and you... Uh, you know, you have uh, now you you have a, a day in front of you. You know where the New China Front is. You know where Ho Fang is. You know where Madame Lin, your old pal, is. We should go talk to uh, Chu Min and Brady and let him know what happened to their yeah. translator, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, the scrolls mm -hmm. have been taken. and that Ho Fang is the one that did it. And 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 that the, and that the scrolls have been taken, which yes. means. Yeah, all sorts of fun things. Yeah. Uh, everybody, make me an. In yeah, let's call it an intelligence roll. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother. So while I'm not bothering to do that because I'll fail, it's, it's pointless. Um, at the your channel. favorite Twitch user, the Baroness, fifteen hundred bits. Oh, the Baroness. Oh. Tamagatora, I don't know what's wrong with you. Another five hundred for the DM. My goodness, is that four for uh, the DM? That is. That My is goodness. four. But. Uh. Malco, I can't even say this. <laughs> Malcolm X, X Cab, a thousand for the players. So we did hey. kind of come, come back. So there thank you, you very much. Nice. Thank you for all of that. Uh, yeah. You know, the Baroness, my favorite Twitch user, as always. Uh, so uh, I, the G.I. Joe moment, I think this time, uh, all of the G.I. Joe episodes are on YouTube right now. So you can go and you can watch every episode of the Saturday morning show. Most of them are pretty terrible. We talked about the best one, which I think is well, the two-parter Welcome to Springfield. Uh, there, uh, uh, but the other one that you should definitely check out in there is an epi the episode with Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, there is the, the introduction of Sergeant Slaughter as a member of G.I. Joe. It is, the best part is, it is actually Sergeant Slaughter doing the voice of Sergeant Slaughter. And let me tell you, Sergeant Slaughter is not a voice actor. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and he might have literally phoned it in. They might have recorded him over the phone. It oh, is wow. You know what? If it was just like the internet is now, probably much better quality. <laughs> <laughs> is this episode before the movie? Yes. Oh, so I, I did... I thought that mm -hmm. was his first, uh, okay. I learned something new today about G.I. Yeah. Joe. Oh wait, no, sorry, sorry. I am completely wrong. It is after the movie. Ah, okay. okay. Um, they actually turned the movie into, I think it was three episodes of the show. They like serialized yeah. the, the movie essentially. Oh, that's, that's an easy way to get content mm -hmm. without paying more for it. Yeah, yeah. So do I do this? Sure, what are you doing? Frodo, Frodo the fourth, 500 more for Ezra. Oh, Ugh. Frodo the Fourth! No, you know, the fort. Don't do it. I'm really sorry That's about what I did to Frodo the Third. If he was, if I knew he was going to be this nice, I wouldn't. Uh... 
Um, I got a critical success on the on the intelligence check. All right. Uh, so anybody who makes the intelligence check with a critical, yeah, you clearly make it. Oh my um, God, the only one who made it. Um, yeah, I got ninety nine. Oh, a ninety nine. Oh. Yes. All right. Oh no! I had to say it. I had to say it. You did. Right, well, first, what does so Joan believe? <laughs> so, I really want to know what Joan thinks about all of this first. So first, uh, Tiana, you uh, you put together uh, that the seven cryptical books of Asan are what uh, um, are why Madame Lin was looking for Brady. She mm. wants the scrolls back. So if Ho, Ho Feng has the scrolls, and uh, you've been asked to kill Ho Feng by by Madame Lin. This might be an excuse to sort of up her um, involvement, up her involvement into into that sort of thing. Uh, and now, Joan, 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 Joan. So uh, there's a moment over breakfast where all of you are sort of like walking through what happened, and you're talking about it. And Alexandra brings up, you know, the whole enemy of my enemy is my friend thing with Madame Lynn. And Joan, make me a pow roll. Please make this. Yes, 50. All right, so at breakfast in the, the lovely restaurant of this hotel, all of you notice the shadow outline of the headdress of eyes around Joan's head. It so almost looks like it's been kind of indented in there. Yeah, Alexandria gets out of her chair so fast the chair falls over. <laughs> you feel fine, Joan. Yeah. Staring yeah. At what? Your what what's what? You okay? Are you, you okay, Alexandra? You you headdress. I I don't have the headdress, Joan. You, have you should go look in a mirror. You should look in a mirror right now. Or right, I pick up my water glass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you see as you do that the one of the eyes on the headdress opens. Oh, I have a third eye now. Sweet. Um, and you hear, you hear a, a very familiar voice in your head. I'm never far away. And you are leading me everywhere I need to go. <sighs> that voice. Says we're leading him everywhere he needs to go. This is what I was afraid of after the I, but, after the dream that I had. But I don't have it. No, That's... but you wore it. You and Emma. It's not just you. Have that mm -hmm. connection to it and him. And you know, it is what it is. And now we have to deal with it. What are our options now? Yes, uh, many good ones. Blindfolds and earplugs. Yep. <laughs> For how long? We have to compartmentalize information. As long as as long as needed until, uh, ladies, could you could you? But information is what I'm. Earmuffs. Just I'm all give me about. the code. What's our and, code for earmuffs? And, and earmuffs. close your eyes in case he can read lips. <laughs> until um, until we've killed Penhue, we're going to have to comp to, to compartmentalize the information. Does that mean those two can't go with us to the island? Maybe. Or that's perfect. They or they if we have two boats going in, we can bring in one as a diversion. If, if while the Japanese bomb the hell from the other side. You want to use our team as a diversion? I, I don't know. Well, I, not to not to draw fire, but to just draw attention. He won't see he won't see the Japanese coming. La, we should la, just go la, to a different room. Guys, this is mean. You guys are doing <laughs> yet? La 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 la. He I just want this to be a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to do the monkeys. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. See no, hear no evil. See no evil. Yeah. All right. I'd, I'm, I'm, I'm going to poke Joan and and Emma to bring oh. them out of it. When you poke her, the what? headdress fades away. Oh, that's all you have to do. <laughs> The problem, the problem is that it, is that he has a permanent connection's the wrong word, but a permanent ability to link. Well, uh, you're 
you're a bookish type, you can go research how to close said links. It's a good suggestion. There must be something you can learn about uh, some one of these rituals you do or elder signs and what's not. And th 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 there might be maybe. something to sever to sever the connection. He he may claim that he's a god, but he's we know it's not. He's not. He's an he's no. an egotistical man who got a hold of too many things of power. Fine. All right. I'll I'll have to I'll take a look at that when we can. All right. We're not discussing anything else while you two are here, though. <laughs> Fortunately, I agree with him. Well, then how are we supposed to get things done? Mm, these eggs cooked perfectly. They're delicious. Just how I like them. Mm -hmm. I'm perfectly happy to lead him on a wild goose chase. In fact, I would find that to be quite entertaining and fun. <laughs> entertaining and fun? That sounds like <laughs> drunken library use right there. <laughs> In fact, Joan, should we go drunk sword fighting? I think we can raise our skill level <laughs> out in the courtyard, maybe later this afternoon. Yes. Yes. I'm ready for that now. <laughs> Good. All of the alcohol. Okay. Uh, so who are you guys visiting this morning? So I, I'm I'm going to say to the, to the two guys I I think that um, and I'm I'm going to make sure that Emma and, I, and no we're leaving we're leaving now out of earshot. Um, I think one of the first people that we need to talk to is Madame Lynn. The problem that she had with Brady was that he stole the scrolls. The scrolls have now been stolen and are in Ho Feng's hands, as far as we can tell. And that being the case, maybe we can get more direct involvement in figure either figuring out where we can get him so he's not in the compound or a more direct assault on the compound itself i like this idea we she can perhaps arrange for him to be at a location at a specific time and we can just be there before he arrives and we'll take care of him outside of his compound that would be ideal that said though she was the one who sent us to that warehouse am i remembering that correctly as yeah well? that's yeah. correct she sent us to that warehouse, so she so, may already be aware of what he's doing. She, she might. We'll have to. We'll have to find out. Are we doing the do -do 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 like, <laughs> there? like we are take you, a taxi? So, are you bringing Emma to visit Madame Lynn? It's a very different visit if you bring her or not. That's I true. know. We can get so much, well, here's the thing, we can get so much more out of Madame Lin if we do, but then Pen Hu knows what we have. And, and Ho Fang is working with Pen Hu. Yeah. So we just have to leave her out. Yeah. yeah. It seems to me that Emma is a little tired of the, uh, um, all the pursuit that's going on. Yeah, fair enough. All right, yeah, I think, I think the three of us go. And so the non headdress team is going to Madame Lynn. What is the headdress team doing? Drunken right. sword fighting? <laughs> sure. Sounds like fun. Um, in the meantime, before we decide what to do, it's a thousand from Jay Matthews to the keeper, a um, thousand to the players from Lonely Yeti. I got um, Oh, nice. I'm, thanks, Lonely Yeti. And yep, thanks, Jay and Matthews, my second favorite Twitch user. I'm still trying to figure out where that random 500 came from. I think it's a combination of melodic method plus some other people if i'm reading right mm. jay matthews 100 i don't know if we get 500 yet or not i'm waiting for thomas the verdict to be to come in if we're going to get 500 more oh well, <laughs> thank you for all your bits and congratulations to frodo the fourth who won the uh, nord games deck from the raid oh, congratulations mm -hmm. oh well we'll be giving away uh, uh we have to send him f uh, four well, that's the problem we sent like three of them already and now we're sending it to the fourth. That's the. Uh, we'll also be giving away a Call of Cthulhu starter set uh, at the break. So stick around for that as well. Uh, so uh, you two are just gonna you're gonna like go into the courtyard of <laughs> a lovely hotel in downtown Shanghai and start sword fighting. Well, we're well, gonna no, drink we're... first. We gotta drink yeah. first. Lots of yeah. drinks. Only one of you has a sword, though, right? No, no, no. You both Joan, have swords. Yeah, Joan has. Yeah, there. And you can, uh, you can, in, yeah, so you can. Uh, it's in the box. You can go there, you're drinking, you. Uh, uh, can we check the skill off? <laughs> sure, you can both get a skill check. Both of you make me a luck roll. All right. 
Let's what see how luck? heated drunken sword fighting gets. Ooh, I'm I miss. <laughs> I got a zero five. Woo! All right. So um, Emma, at one point, Joan uh, accidentally gives you a little cut. You take one point of damage. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Let me write that down here. And then you think maybe we should get training swords for this. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I mean, wooden swords can break bones, but at least it won't cut you. Yeah. yeah, but it was just a little cut. It was just a nick. Do you really think Emma thought that? No. <laughs> no, no, I did not. No. This is not a thought. <laughs> Training swords might burn, at least. Emma doesn't know that that's a thing. Let's just <laughs> back this up. <laughs> no, that's fair. <sighs> so, um, the rest of you go to Madame Lynn's. Um, unannounced. So when you get there, there is a guard at the, the door to this. It's a lovely estate. There's a large wall and behind it, you see sort of a, a, a traditional Shanghai mansion. It is a beautiful house. It is large. Uh, some of you have, some of you get some very alarming feelings about the way that some of that bamboo is moving. I remember, I've been here. <laughs> yeah, you've been here, yeah. Uh, First time. The, uh, the guard asks, uh, why are you here? Uh, I will. I, I will give him uh, my my name and uh, tell him that um, a friend of a, a friend of Emma's would would, would like to speak with uh, Madame Lynn if if she is available. Mm, all right. Uh, you are you know by saying the name Emma, you are brought in and uh, you are once again in that um, in that study which. Um, I don't, Donald, you've been here, I think. Yeah, I don't think so. No? So I, 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 study, think, I, I think I'm the only one who's yeah. been here. Oh. So the study is full of like really disconcerting uh, paintings of, you know, the center of the, there's a velvet painting of like the center of the universe. She got another um, one? She has another one? Yeah. Oh, no, she that's right. One? She gave that mm -hmm. to you. That's right. No, there are, so there's uh, the bells, there's, uh, There's a bunch of, it's a bunch of disquieting stuff, busts, that sort of thing. Yeah, I, um, the, and the very quickly, uh, Madam Lin will come in and she immediately looks disappointed. Uh, good, good, good morning, Madam. Uh, I know Flint, it is not an issue. Donald, what's your appearance? He's also, we're all plain, he's 40. We're all plain. I like think that. we're all 40, actually. Yeah, we're all 40. Yeah. I counted on I counted on my voice, not my looks. What uh, uh, you've come back? I hope nothing's happened to Emma. Mm, no, Emma is uh, well and in and in good health. Um, there have been some developments in in situations that we felt we should discuss with you. And why is Emma not here? I can't help but feel a little insulted, a little, a little uh, rejected. No, that, 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 that is not her intent at all. There, it is a matter of safety at the moment. Does, do you truly think that Emma's in danger from me? From you, no, absolutely not. Because she is. What about deniability, if, if we may? The three of us are um, perhaps to do things that Emma does not need to be involved in. Ah, all right, I understand. And uh, what sort of evil acts are you getting up to? We have recently become, a, we, we, we were able to find the location of the scrolls that Brady took from you. The seven critical bit books of San? Yes. Where However, are they? They were taken very shortly thereafter from someone who was uh, attempting to do a translation of them. They are in Ho Fang's possession. Uh, a white fellow, uh, an um, English looking fellow who works for Ho Fang, perhaps you're familiar with him, bookish looking. Um, and Thorcastle and I have seen him before, so we can describe him. Yeah. Uh, yes, they will. Um, she mutters Stanford under her breath. A gentleman that you are from the 
familiar with, I assume. A hired gun of Ho Fang's. Western mercenaries, so distasteful. I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep. Yeah, we all look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> we all, all three of us just look at each other, like, I think we should be insulted, but also she's not wrong. <laughs> so that that being the case, um, we have heard a, a little of what um, you're able to help us with as far as dealing with Ho Feng. Um, there are some unsavory things that we came across while making the uh, discoveries that that we did and we were hoping that maybe we could get either more information or more help on the hofang situation his compound the three of us had a look we would need an army to properly storm that getting over a wall is very difficult and as much help as i think your gorillas could be for a uh, diversion getting through is still a challenge and a dangerous challenge at that. So we were hoping that there would be perhaps a place where we could find him that he's not in that compound or that we could get more assistance in breaking down the front door. We would like to expedite his death. We, we think Very that it's... So and in the best interest to take care of him as quickly as possible as opposed to biding our time and waiting for an opening. And you're all right with me taking power? It's none of our concern. This is I like that attitude. This this isn't our city and we have other concerns with with Ho Fang that are international world more than more than international more than the world the universe itself and that that being the case power struggles over a piece of land here seem very small i see well this is a very interesting offer tell me you know her better than i would my helping you impress Emma? Quite probably, yes. Really? I can't say for sure, to be honest with you. She, she likes getting things done. She's a very direct sort of uh, American. The only thing I know about her is the mention of her name can leave grown men in sobbing heaps. Yes. Yes, <laughs> it can. <sighs> and that she likes to fight with swords drunken, apparently. Really? She is a very formidable woman, yes. You know, uh, I have been known to dabble in sword fighting. Oh, that would be... I think she's looking for sparring partners. Hmm. Well, let's discuss terms. Certainly. I will assist you in a frontal assault on Ho Fang's fortress. You will have all of my material aid. I will... You will not, you will not uh, uh, go against me when I fill the vacuum that follows. That works out perfectly because we had no intention of doing so to begin with. I just have a question. Is there a possible way for us not to do the frontal assault and instead ambush him in the location where he's uh, exposed? Ho Fang never leaves his fortress. Very well. He sends All others. Right. What did you find at that warehouse that I sent you to? A man who works or worked for Emma was being tortured there. Oh, well, that's not what I, I, I apologize. I thought that you would find uh, evidence there that you could use to incriminate Ho Fang. Hmm. We, 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 
we found evidence that he is quite willing to shed other people's blood in the in the pursuit of what he's doing in the most painful and horrifying way possible. Hmm. Well, I think we almost have ourselves a deal. There's just one little thing. I I have come to terms with the fact that I cannot win Emma's heart. I've given it as as the fortune said. I put beaters on three sides and the quarry escaped. However, I would, I would like to see Emma one last time before this is all over. I mean, of course, we cannot make promises for her. She is her own person and anyone trying to force her to do anything will meet the pointy end of her sword, but we can certainly tell I her. would love to meet the pointy end of her sword. I'm sure you would. Um, that being said, we will certainly tell her for you. All right. Return to me when you have a plan. All right. Very well. It will take me it will take me a day to marshal my forces. All right. I cuddle in the next room. <laughs> Do you require living space? You're welcome to stay here. Tempt me. Um, let's let 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 us discuss a little before we make any decisions, but having having your backing is invaluable and we thank you of course uh i have some business that i need to attend to but if you need anything mr wu will assist you certainly thank you thank you and we'll gather in uh a nearby room or, or are we leaving look i mean what if we come up with a plant here that's absolutely brilliant it could happen <laughs> we, it, it won't have that spark of madness that is emma She's going to be the chaos element that we throw in there. Thought, we'll have her do one side and just hard. make it up as she goes. I I, I thought that was the gorillas. <laughs> Who are you yeah. talking about? Emma and the gorillas. <laughs> Goodness. By the way, as far as you two know, Flint and Donald, I don't think they've mentioned that she has intelligent gorillas. Not so a, you're, I no, mean, no, no, no. There's I've been told about gorillas. Yeah. Yeah, I think they couldn't stop talking about them. Yeah. <laughs> no. I was talking about writing one. Right. Oh, that's right. Yes, of course. Yeah, wearing wearing an American flag jacket and being just as obnoxious. <laughs> Going over the American wall. Of, uh, okay. That's right. Uh, yep. Well, as you head back, I think Amy's got some bookkeeping to do here. Yep. So LD Brat won another thousand for the players. Our stack is getting nice and big. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. I'm look just this. excited that the Brat watches Quests and Chaos. That's 90s hip hop superstar da brat in the house <laughs> in the house yeah uh, and i think nice. also we got uh da brat yep. also gave us five subscriptions as well absolutely oh wow, thank yeah. you so much mm -hmm. it's like no limit records is raining <laughs> god i understand that reference i, I know, know it's terrible <laughs> <laughs> All Either right. way, we want to do the plan away from the headdress crew, right? Yeah. yeah. We, we have, I mean, we have to, unfortunately. Well, without knowing the resources that are going to go into it, we can't really figure out how we're going to allocate anything. Probably right? one, of, probably one of, one of the best ways to handle things. Uh, if, if Ho Fang never leaves that, that compound, we're going to have to get into the compound. Yeah. That being the case, if there's a frontal assault going on, all of his resources should be pulled to the front maybe we can get a ladder and go over the back. Well, a ladder, and then do we know if there's any underground mm. ways in? Yeah, we that... need to intel from her about the compound itself, see what her people know about it, what it looks like. Maybe they actually have a diagram or the like. I doubt 
given it given given how the tripod of power works around here i very much doubt that she has that much information on his compound i don't know she doesn't uh, she's a surprising lady who knows quite a bit especially like the, the little tidbit she gave us the other day where she she happened to know that he had kidnapped that fellow and stashing him in this abandoned brewery how yeah. she knew things i couldn't say although she, she didn't know that he, she she didn't know the guy was kidnapped she just knew there was stuff at that warehouse she gave you the address and, and that it seemed shady because she thought she was that we were going to find evidence, evidence. against evidence. him yeah. donald we could get on a plane and parachute in <laughs> <I'd rather not. laughs> yeah Let's see if your piloting's gotten any better <laughs> uh, you do so when you talk about the resources that would be available um there has not you have not seen any firearms among her guards or really among any of the factions except the guys on the ship and um uh the japanese uh soldiers they have rifles but you really haven't seen any other people armed with firearms interesting hmm. well, as far as the plan goes we definitely would have a, a large force attack the front um and then we would enter through another side second team to try to assassinate him and wherever he would be hiding inside we just need to know where that would be yeah we need to know where he is and then we can move in uh would we want to consider any sort of more discreet diversion so we can try and be as subtle as we can about getting inside getting placed and then have an actual assault to stir things up there's things we can do I have a few tricks we've used me many years ago i could yeah, the car accident is always a an excellent diversion for instance or um yeah, that's the first one that comes to Two mind. Two intelligent white gorillas. He that, said subtle. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 gorillas are phase two distraction. Yeah, <laughs> that's that, that's not a bad idea though, Donald. Having having a car accident, a messy car accident in front, or someone banging on the compound, yelling for help. If they uh, can wait and run into a car that's going into the compound too, ooh. it'll give them even more reason to stop and take a look. And the gate will be open then, so there will be there will be more forces focused there to get the the gate cleared and closed. That's a good idea, actually. So now so. we have to hit up the ladder store, which is a shame because I really wanted a grappling hook. I mean, it's subtle, but it's but it's harder to do. Ladders are much faster. Yeah. Right. And see if we can find somewhere nearby to hide it. That's going to be fun. I just want to know what she knows about his compound and what her people can bring to the table. Yeah, so we can we can ask her second second in command if if there's any way that we can be provided with the blueprints for Ho Feng's um, compound or any like if anyone's been in there and can draw even just a rough map, anything that'll give us information about where he would be during an attack. Um, and we can we can dump the plan on him to the current plan on him too to get feedback, right? Hmm. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, I think that we'd want to keep Emma and Joan out of it, just because if they know that there's a second diversion coming. Then Penhue will know. Yeah. Or at, least, or, or at least Penhue will have the opportunity to find out. Well, it might be good to let them know that we're doing something else a few days after. So Penhue has that in mind. Um, but I do, I, I, perhaps, um, they can make plans to go on a pyramid expedition that that fellow was talking about. Hmm. The dead guy. Hopefully they would ever go, but perhaps make those plans and be involved with uh, that option. Have Penny distracted by those uh, ideas. So get. I, um, Mr. Wu, will get you. I'm I'm putting in that Google Doc that we have of handouts. Mr. Wu will actually get you a map of uh, Ho Fang's uh, area, his his villa. Neat. It doesn't have a lot of details. It's really hard to type when you're in there. We go. All right. So there it I, is I in there. I completely understand. I have to type with my arms up like this because of the way the the, right. the laptop. Is uh, so it is. It is that that map is in the Google Doc. Again, not a ton of information, but some. It's a one story compound there's a number of different buildings wow 
Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. So is, is Mr. Wu able to give us an idea of what area would be Ho Fang's and where, where, where would be like his private suite within, within the building? And if our plan is crazy. Yeah, also. So if he's can... like, this is dumb, you're all dumb. I'm so open to him... constructive criticism. <laughs> you nice. tell him the, uh, the car accident idea, huh? He, I yeah. mean, um, one thing that becomes clear to you right away is that this man is not a soldier. Uh, he's like, I don't, why would you, why would you want a car accident? Oh dear. The uh, idea essentially is to draw the guards out of the compound to deal with the accident or perhaps even, well, when we used tricks like this in the past, uh, the, the victims of course were soldiers who were attempting to aid those who were in the car accident and mm. come to the help of those people. And they would open the gates of the barracks and whatnot to come out and look at the accident, tend to the wounded, and of course, uh, open themselves up to our ambush. Why would they come out and help people that were wounded? Unfortunately, that's a character flaw of theirs that we could exploit. Well, and I, I do not and think and you should expect that from Ho Fang's men. Perhaps also, if, it, um, it, it, if the vehicle involved is one of his own, perhaps as they're coming back to the compound and, and an hapless driver happens to hit one of their own vehicles, maybe that would draw them out to deal with the car accident and curse at the driver, giving us an option. It's it's possible. I was uh, like, who do we just lose? Uh, we just saw Julie driver. briefly. Thomas will, uh, pardon, uh, apologies, Thomas will reset things. Maybe we should do an early break so Thomas can reset stuff. It's a little early, but. It's just, we're back. We just have different names yeah. right now. Yeah, I want to see how everything is. Uh... Joan is Donald. Yeah. Donald is Joan. It's, it's very <laughs> same do I have? Uh, Am I still Alexandra? Yeah, yeah, we're still, the rest of us are the same. Those two just flip flop. That's uh, it. So Wu doesn't have a lot to help with your military plan, but he does tell you that um, if this place is like most villas, the left building will be like banquet hall, servants quarters, that sort of thing the right building will be the house itself. <laughs> All right, looking over this diagram, uh, the, the right building, the southern end appears to be the sleeping quarters. Uh, small rooms will be the crew, the staff, the security. We're looking for a large bedroom for this fellow and a large office and work areas. Probably, probably the one with the red bed in it. Ah, I see what you mean, good eye. So the, the two doors on the edge in the south lead up to that driveway that is to the exterior wall. All right. Well then. Entry point for us, I think, should be the pond. You're making me look up the map. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm like, where is it in the 400? documents that I have. That's why I'm staring off to the side. <laughs> yeah, I agree. The pond may be our, our best option, our best entry in. Um, and they're so much easier when you're playing in person. Right? Yeah. Because then you can just pass them from person to person, but so it goes. But the, the pond area is, the, is, mar is marked with an X and that means that it's open to the air. Yes. Yeah, that will probably be our best bet, and it's not far away from the, the back area where we're pretty sure Ho Fang's personal area is. Right, a small team would move in there and try to eliminate Ho Fang. The, the, more, the major group would be hit at the front door area, drawing all the guards security there. Mm -hmm. uh, you may want some sort of incendiary devices as well. If, you, if, you, if the word dynamite comes out of your mouth. <laughs> Fireball would be sufficient. I mean, are, you, are you asking Mr. Wu for explosives? Well, hand grenades would be nice. What do you have available, Mr. Wu? We're not an army. You had to blow something up. Don't the Chinese have have fireworks? Anything? Yes, we have fireworks. Uh, I mean, yeah. OK, you just, those plus shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs> what? We can use um, pots. The look on this poor man's face. <laughs> Why would you do that? 
to kill people. We kill people with swords, like civilized people. Yes, uh, we, we have to. We have to be far more efficient than that. Sometimes you have to use the the, the the shock and awe techniques when you are a smaller force going up against a larger and better fortified one. Tr trust me, we've seen what Ho Fang does. We should not be affording him any civility. Uh, uh, fires are incredibly dangerous. Yes. What? No, we just need the explosions and shrapnel. It, it's just force shrapnel. I um, I will ask. Uh, I feel like you should be talking to an army person. We are business people. But as but as I'm sure Madam Lynn, I'm sure Madam Lynn would agree with me when when you say you use the tools that you have on hand. Yes, Tun Tun and Ping. Yeah. Oh. We can't strap explosives to them. That's that's inhumane. Well, that and I would be very concerned about about people trying to kill Tun Tun and Ping with uh, swords or other bladed. Oh, get it! Shouldn't get, get worry it. about that. Tun Tun and Ping are immortal. Uh, excuse me. Uh. Tun Tun and Ping are gorilla gods. They can't be killed. What's a gorilla god? It's pretty much all there. <laughs> it's right there on the tin, Donald. I've never heard of a gorilla god. Or mm. Wait, hold on. And he blows a whistle. And one of the gorillas, like, leaps from the bamboo and comes and very gently opens the glass door to this room and comes in. And he says something to the gorilla in Chinese. And the gorilla looks at you and then shakes its head. And he says, he's never heard of you either. <laughs> All right. So you have two immortal gorillas. Gods. Oh, immortal that's... gorilla gods. That changes the equation significantly. I was afraid that we were going to have to worry about, you know, favored pets getting harmed. This is this is far better. Yeah, let's give them the explosives. <laughs> but the gorilla, gorilla gorilla gods can simply go in the compound, uh, grab him, bring Ho Feng to us, and that would make things a lot easier. Well, we capital. suspect that Stanford uses. Do we? I suspect that he uses supernatural means based on what we heard. You, so you definitely do. Yes. Let's be careful with those gorilla gods. All the same, they're gods. Yes. That's Gosh, the if mortal only, gorilla I mean, gods. And I'm even gods. To... And even gods can be brought down. I I fear that perhaps, um, gods have a different meaning in your culture than in mine. In your culture. Your God is an omnipotent, endless, unknowable being. In our culture, the gods are manifest in many different forms, and they, they can walk among us. And uh, Tun Tun and Ping are manifestations of the gorilla god. And they are immortal, but they are not invincible. Mm. All right, scratch the explosives again. Well, and and I, and I would point out, and I like look up at how massive this this gorilla is. No, don't make eye contact. <laughs> they're it like it looks. They're, like they're they're explosives in their own right. The sight of these two could cause um, our quarry to flee. That's certainly a risk, especially since I'm sure it's known that they reside with Madame Lin. Well, they could be the distraction if that's the way we want to go. That's distraction number two, right? With the full on assault. Distraction number one is the car. It doesn't sound like we have any soldiers, uh, unless I'm hearing otherwise. Mr. Wu excuses himself. He's, um, I, excuse me. So you are alone in a room. 
is the, the giant is the gorilla. gorilla still there? Damn it. Oh, yeah, Tun Tun is still there. Hmm. And Tun Tun is just like, you know, kind of bored. Every once in a while, pick some might. Should we, should we go? Should we go? There's a gorilla over there. Should we go? I think you can hear us. <laughs> oh, I, I assure you, I can. Ah. Slow turn. Would one of you do me a favor? If Would one can. of you kill me? Um, I'm oh, sorry. Run, you know, that by, run that by me again. Would one of you kill me? Why? Hypothetically? Like if it, what? Oh, no, I'm quite serious. Uh, I'm sure that uh, my, my friend as well would feel this way. Why? Uh, my name is John Corbett. Hello, John. I was an explorer in the service of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Well, that changes things. <laughs> And now you're a gorilla god. Really just a gorilla. Although I am immortal. As is oh. my compatriot. My compatriot, Javier Xerxes. He's, uh, he was a Portuguese explorer. We came upon a temple here in Cathay. Um, and in that temple, we found a giant ancient gorilla and that gorilla said to us in latin please kill me and being the good explorers we were we did so and as soon as we killed that gorilla uh we became gorillas and i'm here to tell you that living eternity as a gorilla is torture. So you you're not have, selling this to us. You would have us kill you and then become gorillas as well. Is that what I'm hearing? I'm fairly certain that only works in the temple. How certain are you? Well, I mean, I've not been killed to this point. Not for lack of trying, let me tell you. One of the most horrifying bits of being immortal is when you first realize that you can't take your own life. Hmm. You continue trying. Well, what I've okay. attempted suicide 712 times oh. since the year. Oh God, I'm going to mess this up. Queen Elizabeth. Since, since my inception, since the time I became a gorilla. Poor Javier has gone quite mad. Queen Elizabeth was Shakespeare's time, if I remember correctly. Goodness. <laughs> Well, we could always send you on a suicide mission, and you could be killed by other parties. But and, then have, and then have them turn into gorillas? That sounds like a great idea. Well, just don't kill those gorillas. Yeah, but then Ho Fang has gorillas. Well, not if he's dead. Well. <laughs> or if Ho Fang kills one of the gorillas, then we have Ho Fang Gorilla. And then if we kill Ho Fang Gorilla, we become... We become yes. Yeah. And I need my fingers the size that they are to use my rifles. I need my hands the size they are to use my daggers. <laughs> eh, not so much. I mean... You know, I will say, the manual dexterity of the gorilla form is quite impressive. Really? I can use my feet as well as I use my hands. So, how do you and your compatriot feel about a potentially suicide mission? Oh, we are very excited about it. Javier is practically drooling. <sighs> but I should warn you again, Javier is quite mad. He you... uh, did not take to the transition as well as I did. You know the Portuguese can't take any sort of... Uh, there's no stiff upper lip there. Poker face. <laughs> and you don't realize how much alcohol you need to become drunk as a gorilla until you're a thousand pound gorilla. Oh, goodness. I want to see Emma try, though. <laughs> <laughs> one last farewell. I have one more question. The, the process, but 
between the killing and the becoming? Was there a delay of some sort? Oh, no, it was quite instantaneous in the temple. And you see, in the temple, there were on the walls all of this scroll work that explained the curse and how this was a, a cursed temple and anyone who, uh, anyone who slew the gorilla man became the gorilla man. Little did we know, I thought if only Javier did it, perhaps I wouldn't become the gorilla and then I would have a talking gorilla that would be oh, the wonder of England. Uh, but unfortunately, it appears that uh, as since I was in the temple as well, I became a gorilla. Right, well. Mm. If you do me are... a favor, don't let anyone know that I can speak. Oh, of course not. We don't, uh, we don't talk. Um, uh, um, well, Javier can't really talk. He's mm. well, not even Madame Lynn. She doesn't know. Oh, no, no. But let me tell you one advantage of being a gorilla. It's very easy to look in her window at night. I'm just going to pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> Gorillas have needs. It's a damn shame that we can't use Ezra quotes as, <laughs> as titles because that would be the title of the next episode. <laughs> so you'll kill me then? Uh, not directly. Not personally. Apologies. But we, we can give you an excellent opportunity there's there's a lot of people with with swords and the like in uh, the ho fang villa estate area so but you can't die to the first one that's all we ask you gotta stretch it out i mean <laughs> we really need a lot of these people to uh not be alive look i'll be honest javier i'm just gonna point him at whoever you want killed and he's just gonna start tearing people apart mm. I I, I figured there's a lot of pent up aggression and rage going on. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, surprisingly territorially macho creatures are gorillas. Javier, in my opinion, Javier is uh, losing his humanity and becoming more and more of a gorilla. And you've even maintained the accent. I'm rather impressed, sir. Well, it took me 200 years to learn Chinese. But I certainly wasn't going to stop being English. Fair enough. All right. So I think that that it's going to be our best bet then to have the first version with uh, the, with the car accident, and then have our uh, friends be the second very loud diversion once we're inside. And you know. Oh, excuse me. I hear Mr. Wu coming. I have to go be a gorilla again. Mm. Uh, Wu comes back in. Uh, I spoke with Madam Lin, and um, we do have a small amount of uh, of flammable bombs that she can get access to. Excellent. Those would be very helpful. Mm. Yes. We could perhaps have those in a truck that accidentally crashes into the front of the compound. That's not You're a, a monster. First, that's not a good first diversion. That's too loud for a first diversion, right? Yeah, We're gonna have to deal with that problem rather quickly. And then the second diversion would be the attack gorillas. Attack gorillas? Or with motion to the gorilla. The gorilla gods. We mainly use them for observing people and for quietly removing people. And they're I'm very sure. skilled as assassins. I'm sure they're, they're quite good at that, but they are also a thousand pounds of gorilla. And I'm, I, I am told that gorillas are very territorial creatures. I'm sure if we point them in the right direction, they'll create a, a ruckus for I them. don't think these gorillas would have any trouble getting over the wall, to be honest. They, do we want to be If you noisy? suggest riding them one more time. <laughs> no, that's no longer no. <laughs> no. That was that was in jest. When you say down. riding, you, you see Tun Tun go. It's a hypothetical 
<laughs> I think with the explosives, the gorillas, and then um, the layout of the grounds, we should be in pretty good shape. Anything else? I think we might Very well. Uh, Madam has asked me to prepare 20 men for tomorrow. Excellent. Uh, I'm presuming this will be at night. We want to make sure it's when he's at the compound. If for some reason, for any reason, he's not there, this is all wasted effort. So Ho Fang yeah. never leaves the. He never leaves the uh, uh, the compound. I have to understand. He sometimes takes a, a boat ride. Does is that correct? Uh, not that I know of. Hmm. Well, there may be there may be somewhere underground to get in. If he's able to get to and from the boat without being seen. Maybe we should stop by Brady and follow up on his intelligence. Let's just make sure his boat is here. Well, it sounds like you have a great deal to do. Yes, we really do. And we should, we should get going on that, but we will certainly make excellent use of your, of your 20 men and your two uh, gorilla friends. Uh, Madam Lynn has also asked me to remind you that should you require it, you are welcome to stay here. Which is deeply appreciated. We will keep that in mind. Very well. Thank you. All right. So you guys head back to the hotel, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. So they don't find us there because I have talked Joan into going to see Isago Toro if you would like to go with me. Oh, nice. All right, yeah. No. Slightly drunk <laughs> after a, a, an afternoon of sword fighting. A little bloody. Uh, and was got a little cut. Uh, and yeah, you head to uh, uh, the, the warehouse that uh, Is Isago Toro told you uh -huh. to go to. And uh, two, um, two Japanese men with rifles well like when 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 one of them when you knock one of them opens the door and like motions you in and then there are two guys with rifles pointed at you and um and uh taro will be there and he will say uh yes why have you come well i think joan and i we've decided that we need some explosives and some bicycles Oh, that's uh, that's not a sentence you hear every day. I think now you're just trying for an episode title. You really are. <laughs> well, I'm just out of game. I'm just mad that Nick took me because I was like, you know what would Emma, I'm sitting here going, what would Emma do? Emma would get drunk, want a bicycle and think that it's a great idea to lob grenades over the wall using a bicycle as a vehicle to just be like, dee 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 yeah, that's uh, the music for unicycles. And she got Joan drunk and convinced her. I like yeah, it. Absolutely. I like and it. And so now we've got to convince Isaga. It's it's just in case. I brought a little bag and everything. Um and, and you tell him what you want these for? No. Oh, well and then not unless he asks. There's a follow-up question. <laughs> um, <laughs> and why do you require explosives and bicycles? Well, and how many of each? Well, ooh, so like, well, yeah. I mean, are we gonna go do this now? Yeah. Are we gonna, are we gonna wait till everybody gets back? We should do it now. Okay. So we just need two bicycles, and then like, I don't know, as many as I can fit in my purse. <laughs> I'll bring a bag too. I'll bring a bag. Okay. Too. And where? Um, where are these bombs going? I forgot his name already. What's his name again? Mr. Who? Mr. Oh, that's right. I can't tell you. Never mind. Shh. Shh. Lower your voice. Um, have you been drinking? Uh, no. I, I see. Um, so, if you told me 
where you were going to use these bombs and if it served the imperial you know my purposes i would happily offer you everything you need what happens if you tell me what serves your purposes and i'll tell you if that's what we need uh well destabilizing the that's my government. middle name <laughs> Uh, I'm coming to learn this, yes. Destabilizing the, uh, the the current status quo in Shanghai certainly serves my needs. Death to the patriarchy. Yeah. And that guy too. Well, um, I, I, I guess which patriarchy? Because... It's a good question. Oh, it's a good question. Uh, I thought Imperial there was only Japan one. Is, is pretty much a patriarchy. I thought there was only one. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the emperor is the only patriarchy, yes. Um, so confused right now. Look, I just need some grenades. And I sit down like, I just, I'm like, <laughs> like, look, I just need some grenades. I can't, like, I can't get philosophical with you about the patriarchy or your patriarchy or whatever that is. Yep. Yes, of course. I'm happy to. Uh, I'm happy to I'm let like, you sow some great. chaos. <laughs> um, he says something in Japanese, and uh, a guy goes and opens a crate and gives you each five hand grenades. Eight. That's it. Whoa. Ten hand grenades is enough munitions to destroy. Anything you need to destroy. Okay, like like below a hole in a wall and yeah. then like maybe a building or... I think you'll find that if it can't be destroyed with tin hand grenades, um, it's your demolition skill that is called into question, not the amount of explosives. I've already called that into question. <laughs> so, uh, um, and then they bring up two... Uh, slightly ramshackle bicycles. Okay. He apologizes because they are not Japanese. As long as they got two wheels and a pedal. <laughs> and they go. So, they go? Do that they go? They do. That they do. Okay. Uh, do you know where you're going? <laughs> not yet. But we are. We will. I thought we'd just ask for directions. The hotel. Uh, I can give you directions if you tell me. I don't know, Joan. Do we tell them where we're going? Would you Let's like to be polite and step out of your shot? No, that's okay. I think it's just time for us to go. And yeah. I like try and get on the bicycle. Yep. Yep. Well, very yep. well. Yep. Uh, I, I hope that uh, you don't blow yourself up. Me too. <laughs> All right, so you guys ride out. Um, uh, Do I have to roll for the ride skill? Yeah, both of huh? you make con rolls. Let's see how um. drunk you actually are. All right. Okay. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Hold on, before I do that, can, Melodic can, Method gave the GM 500 bits, so let me put that in there. Thank um, you, Melodic can, Method. Can, 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 you need can, inspiration? You can be inspired because I can't. <laughs> um, did you fumble? What, what's the roll? What's the what roll? What's the max? What's the maximum roll? Is it ninety five? Ninety six and a okay. hundred to a hundred. Okay, but I didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So, so yes, right now you are both really drunk. Yeah. Yes, use, yeah. use super hammered. Roll. So it sounds like Joan's going to use inspiration. Yes, I've given Joan inspiration, and I have also fumbled. All right. Look, oh, yeah. I can't walk. The, I can't walk. I can't walk. I took this a deep walk back. I took a deep breath, and I'm like, okay, I can I'm do like, this. Joan, Joan, I can't walk the walk back. <laughs> walk the bike back. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I can get both of those, and I, and I got one of the bags, so I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm laying on the ground, like kicking my legs in the air. I'm like, I can't uh, <laughs> carry so, me. So, are you going back to the hotel then? Sure. Like, I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> well, 
Well, that, so yeah, you don't know where Ho Fang's place is. But they mm -hmm. will, so we gotta yeah. go back to the hotel. And, and, and we can just that. ask the concierge when we get there. We'll just be like, where's Ho Fang live? It's a great idea. <laughs> yes, you will. Yes, you will. So yeah, that's the thing. You, you manage to get back to the hotel. Um, Emma only twice almost throws a hand grenade. Like, like uh, somebody cuts her off and she like reaches in the bag. No, no, she's got no. her finger in the pin and you're like, no, 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 no. Spin uh, it around like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you get to the hotel and uh, the uh, you get, Emma just, you go up to the concierge and you ask <sighs> him. That was a ride, man. You should have been there. It was, I almost got hit by a car and then I was pedaling sideways. It was amazing. Then we had to no, stop the train. Ask him, ask him, ask him. Uh, oh, so, so you see this guy and he pulled out the picture of Ho Fang and I was like, you, you said he was Ho Fang, right? Yes, yes, that is, he's, yes. Do you know where he lives? Sure, yes. Um, Can you write it on the back of the picture? I suppose, are you- Actually, can you give me directions? Um, y yes, I, I, I can. Um, is, are, are you all right? I'm totally fine, everything's great. Well, all right, um, so yeah, he'll give you, he gives Joan the directions. <laughs> he starts to give them to Emma and Emma like is, so it's right, then let, like, no, what, right, then, what and so then he he gives them to uh, right. uh he gives the directions to Joan and right. you guys are just gonna ride off to Ho Fangs is this well do we wait for the others because I, I don't you because oh, like we gotta, I don't have... we gotta wait for them so they can what? have the fun too we gotta wait okay should we All wait right. in the bar yes all right oh, so no. I take my bike in the bar Yes. Yeah. Emma has been rolling her bike all through the hotel, and she's wearing a satchel that is only barely concealing five hand grenades. Man's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't put your head down. That would be a, a bad thing. So, uh, uh, so you go to the bar, and um, while you're at the bar, uh. A me a, um, Joan, a note is brought to you from the concierge. Yes. And it's uh, uh, it's a note from Taro. And he says, okay. please do not blow up this hotel. And, uh, they, they think we're going to blow up the hotel. Well, there are chances. I'm I mean, gonna tell him no. I'm gonna tell him no. Yeah, you should tell him no, but also don't tell him that I've also lit one on fire before. No, no. Okay. Let's tell. Let's say, say no problem, and I'll send it back. Uh, all right. The guy takes the note back, and uh... I'm like, no problem. <laughs> uh, and I think that while I. Uh, well, I spend a, a beautiful moment pondering the insanity that is about to occur. We are going to go to break. So we are giving away a Call of Cthulhu starter set uh, at the break. So hashtag chaos, and you will be entered to win a physical copy. We're going to mail it to you. So that's got, we're, we're asking continental U.S. and Canada, except for Quebec. Uh, sorry, Argentina. And uh, you enter it there, and you will be entered to win. Uh, and we'll also, again, at the end of the show, we'll be doing a YouTube giveaway uh, some, of a, a, a digital set. So we will be back just as soon as six people can use six bathrooms.
Welcome back, internet friends. Uh, I just want to give props to Thomas for the font work on boobs in the uh, the title screen there. That chef's kiss. That is that is wonderful. Uh, Hold on, now I need to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's 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 the cal classic calculator font. I'm sure that you know you were too classy to like spell out boobs on your calculator, but. No, I, I was all over it. Uh, eight, eight zero zero eight people. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think did we get a winner? I don't know if we got a winner in the. I don't think so. Not yet. Thomas needs to get back to his chair and roll that roll that mother. Uh, so we'll we'll have a, a a winner of that starter set slow uh, shortly. Slowly. Slowly, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, uh, if it's up oh to night, gosh. L, it is. Ooh. This is El de Brat night. El de Brat wins. The Call of Cthulhu starter set. Uh, congratulations. Uh, so that gives you, you were just, I know that uh, during the break, Elder Brat was asking some questions about the rules of Call of Cthulhu and that sort of thing. The starter there set, an excellent introduction that will give you all of this. And it's starting to make me think that this whole thing is fixed. It's Nightbot. It, I promise you, I'm really shocked that Nightbot didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> Nightbot's I like, mean, not this time. <laughs> Or lonely, or, or, or lonely Yeti somehow, even yeah. though he's the one who donated the things. <laughs> that would be funny, yeah. Back to Reminds you, it's me lonely of, uh, Yeti and Nightbot together. Oh, the unholy, the unholy pairing. <laughs> night, night Yeti. Sure. Sounds lonely like a book. Bot? I don't know. Uh, that reminds me of there's a there's an awesome uh, video you can find it on YouTube of little Richard giving an award, I think at like a Grammys or an American Music Award or something. And he's one of the presenters and he goes, the winner is, and then he puts the other goes, me. And he goes on this like five minute tirade as only little Richard can about why he should win because he's never won a Grammy, he never get, and so it's just this like five minute extemporaneous as I don't remember who is his co-presenter is sort of like trying to get out of camera <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh, it's, it's outstanding. I will have to find that. Little Richard is amazing. Little Richard was, uh, unfortunately, Little Richard just passed away, <laughs> but uh, just like that, Little Richard is a fun YouTube deep dive of just watching <laughs> Little Richard through the ages because A, he's crazy, B, he's awesome, and C, he really did create like a lot of modern rock and roll, and he's not shy in telling you that. <laughs> but uh, you can like watch as he performed. Oh, it's outstanding. Little Richard is maybe once we run out of G.I. Joe moments, we'll do Little Richard moments. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find some way to tie that into the Baroness, I'm sure. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, so when we went to break, we had the, the perfect combination of alcohol, vehicular vehicles, and explosives. And uh, it took you a great deal of time. Uh, Joan, you had to basically lead Emma through the city to get to the hotel. So by the time you go to the bar, uh, the three, the other three of you are returning and you see Joan and Emma enjoying a lovely beverage in the bar. Uh, you also see a bicycle and anybody that makes a spot hidden roll sees uh, a satchel that is uh, uh, uncomfortably full of something. Maybe pineapples? Uh, 54 out of 63, I made it. Did you fumble, Tom? 72, though. Um, what, what, how, hard does, how hard does it need to be? Regular? Does that work? No, regular success is fine. Yeah, those are, you know, they, they both Joan and Emma have bags full of something at their sides. Yeah, I, I'm going to reach over and like touch Donald's shoulder and be like, we might have a problem. Peek in there. What do I see? Well, the, I know uh, the hotel. We don't know to tell them yet. Is that the problem? We haven't. Hey, we see him. Do we see him? Doing? Oh yeah, of course. Hey. Drunk Emma makes all perception check. Makes all her. <laughs> hey, they have something in those satchels, and I don't know what it is. Hey, come Emma. on over. Oh, come go. on. Can I go come over? On. Can I get three more drinks for these guys? Yeah. Of course. Uh, Thank you, sir. Whoop. Can we do a walk All right. around the satchels and see what's uh uh yeah this this um Emma's satchel is like open on the top. It's not buckled closed or anything, and there are hand grenades in there. So do I see those too? 
Oh yeah, everybody sees the hand grenades. Emma. I'm gonna slap your hand if you touch my business. Emma. We, uh, can Emma? We close... Emma? Emma, Emma, can we close the satchel? Just we for a start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm slowly motioning and closing. And I take mine up and just go like this. <laughs> oh, look what we got. <laughs> where, mean, where did you get those? It's Isago Toro. He was, I mean, you just basically go and just be like, hey, I need seven explosives. He's like, how about and two bikes. I'm like, of course. And two bikes, and two bikes. Oh yeah, bikes. they're not the and best bikes. bikes, but I mean, they work, especially when Joan pulls you down the street. So that, that just works for me. <laughs> right. You didn't lose any on your way back, did you? What, did I booze on the way back? We stopped at one bar, okay? No. One bar. No, 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 no. we kept good care of these. Oh, good. What are you going to do with those? Huh? What are you going to do with those? Oh, lob them over the compound walls. Oh. All right. Don't, don't oh. not say anything. That's fine. I know it was a great uh, no, plan. No, no. Um, processing. Okay, so I don't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look to see if the bartender is still within earshot. Now we're at a, we're at a table, right? We're not sitting at the bar. I'm all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you are. <laughs> no, man. We can take these and we can throw them over. They can go over the wall. Aren't you too compromised? In With what? So many ways. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you too compromised? Are, are you yeah. are you impinging my honor, sir? <laughs> I have made no deals, my friend. No deals with no one. Okay. What? Can we get some coffee for you, your ladies, perhaps? What? Poppy's free? Coffee. Have, no. Have you... Pretzels? Ooh, yes. pretzels, pretzels. Yes. Do they have pretzels here? I, I think I just wrote a check. My ass can't cash. <laughs> uh, make a luck roll. And perhaps a peanut. That would be... A critical success. Wow. Are we yeah, talking the good like something stupid? Pretzel? They have like, you know, what they have are those like sesame sticks mm, that are yes. approximate pretzels. Mm. These are amazing. Oh my we're god. Like grab the biggest bowl of them that we can find and put them in front of Emma. I think we may have forgotten to eat lunch today. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is epic. Oh, it's like one o'clock. It is time for I was about to say it is lunch time. Lunch. Right. Um, no. It, oh, oh, all right. All right. We can use these. We can use this. We can use these. Um, you use the pretzels for what? No, the others. The other things. I like point at her satchel. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. We Got can it. Use this, but we might want to wait until you two sober up a little. Does this might be a more precise operation than you are able to do at the moment. Don't need precise. How, I need how sober have I seen Emma so far? <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Maybe two times. I mean, ish. A couple ish. times. I mean, there's there's a difference between the usual low level drunk and whatever <laughs> this is. Yeah, yeah. The best I this think is, you've seen is sober esque. Yes, this is going to be working into an afternoon nap right now. <laughs> An afternoon nap sounds like a wonderful no, idea. It <gasps> does. No, we have to do something. Is there a water fountain in this building? I'll, I'll go get you some water. I'm going to go over, over to the bar. And oh. it's just like the, my best pleading expression. I'm like, can we get some water, please? Uh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, you get the feeling this guy might have seen the hand grenades. <laughs> He's doing <laughs> anything we ask him to. I'm sure. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll take like, a, if, he, if he gives me a pitcher of water, I'll take that and several glasses over to the table because that seems the easiest way to handle this. And just like pour water for everyone, hand it around. That way, you know, we're not picking on Emma and Joan. Everyone cool. needs to drink water. Hail hydration. Drink. I'm Thorn cool. I'll, I'll go with the alcohol that they ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish this first. Hold on. All right. Uh, 
So is the plan to just sort of distract them all day? From yes, to keep them to as distracted as possible. Maybe help them to that afternoon nap. Distract that, like, like get get oh. Joan get Joan on a tear about the patriarchy. <laughs> no, I, I, but I also need to search to see if I can get. Okay, but <gasps> now, Joan, how focused can you be on that right now when you're having difficulty forming complete sentences? Yeah. So why don't we go ahead and let you two take a bit of a rest, take a nap, and then we, and then we can search out ways to to break the the tie because I would love to have you two completely involved in what we're doing without this problem. Yes, I want to be involved. I want to we got it. Oh, believe this. me. I want you two to be involved. I, this is too much fun with you. Weren't you going to spend the day going to the library to look is that how to control what i will like but like not not even looking i'm going to pick up a fork and and jab and jab the the blunt end into um uh thorn castle's thigh we don't have time for that kind of business no. and he's very and he should be very aware that he's very lucky that i use the blunt end and not the time i thought it'd be funny if you actually stabbed me with a fork and i just don't move <laughs> just like <laughs> just like tap yeah it's they like i just go like this get Shh. some rest so I put my satchel of grenades on like right like this, like it's my child and just like hold them and take my drink up to my room. I'm like, good night. <laughs> Excellent. Call me later. I, I I will actually go with Emma to like escort her into her room and right. make sure that she gets there in one piece. Okay. okay. From my but room. But you can't, you can't touch my bag. That's fine. You could, I, that's fine. You can't touch my bag though. Emma, right, I, right. I, Emma, I don't, I don't play with those. Don't touch it. I don't, I don't, don't even look at it. Okay. Don't. Love you too. Yeah, it's like I, I have everything I need right here in, in, in the satchel. Let's, let's I'm go, rest. Up. go some rest. All right, so, uh, uh, all right, so they, they head upstairs. Uh, I are you with my bag of grenades. Yeah. And I'm sleeping with the bag of grenades. Like I've got it in like You're like one curling of up with it. Yeah. And I'm still, I'm still gonna try to look at the stuff that's in, in, in Silvano's satchel, because this is what this is. It just has grenades in it too. Right. And then try to see if I, he has anything about how to deal with this. I mean, I know there's some things about uh, protection and things like that. So maybe I can try to think about that. I mean, Silvano, you don't know, Silvano, have a conniption fit. <laughs> you don't know what, I mean, there was some stuff about, yeah, elder signs uh, and- uh, Protection. You know, the ritual of transference possibly uh, so make me a yes. library use roll. Library use. All right. Yes, I made it. So I mean, part of the problem is that the um, the elder sign is sort of carved into things, and right now there's nothing to carve into. Right, well, all right. I mean, there's there's not anything good to carve into, uh, nothing you really want to carve into. But um, and I couldn't put it, just put it on my head, like on, like on something, or I have to carve it into it. I couldn't make, put make, like make a, your own headdress. I mean, make a protection it, headdress. I mean, who knows? It could it, you you could you could That's, spend some time researching that and see if yep. you can find something about yep. that. Yep. Yep. All right. Yep. yep. Um. Are the three of you that, that got back doing anything? Uh... Yes. All right, what are you guys doing? Collecting our stuff. Leaving the hotel? Possibly. Yeah, they've got grenades. <laughs> They're sleeping with grenades. Not with them. Right? Oh, Emma yeah, is sleeping is. with yeah. Emma. Emma yeah. is. Yeah. Look, I. Cuddling them in her sleep. No, my stuff yes. is out. Stand at Madam Lynn's for I, the I'm not, and we we can't leave them alone. A, if we leave them alone, well, things will explode a hell of a lot faster. At least when we're with them, there's a there's a chance that we can mitigate the situation. A chance. It's not a great chance, but it's a chance. Or at least point them in the right direction. We'll treat them, we'll treat them like the gorillas. We point them in the right direction and we let them blow shit up. So they're not they're not around, right? No, they're upstairs <laughs> sleeping. Okay. I wouldn't say that in front of them. 
I'm just, you know, just making sure, just making completely sure, like they can't know about the assault. Let's just bring them to the assault when we do it. I know. They're 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 aiming to to be there at, at Ho Fangs anyway, which means that they've already discussed the idea of going and lobbing grenades at Ho Fangs. So Penhu knows that part. We can just guide them to be there at the time that we need them to be, without being obvious about it. Hopefully. Can we get the grenades from them somehow? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever tried to get something away from Emma when she's drunk and stubborn? I never have, no. I don't recommend it. <laughs> she's a barnacle. She grabs onto it and you have to almost literally use a knife to pry her loose. And I don't want to play that game today. Hmm. Well, perhaps, uh, is there something else they can do in the meantime? How much... When's our assault? Is it tomorrow? tomorrow. tomorrow. Sounds like tomorrow, yeah. She'll, she'll have the 20 men ready for us tomorrow. All we have to do is keep them distracted and marginally sober until then. Perhaps working on a way to, to deal with uh, their mind control or whatever it is that is affecting them. That would be ideal because I would I would far rather bring be able to bring them into everything, but without with, with that with that link between his mind and theirs there's no way we can bring them in and i so hate should, that should we follow up with brady because brady actually seemed to be aware of his schedule i don't know we probably shouldn't even mention brady frankly to uh, madame lynn's people yes about that we mm. don't mention brady in front in front of madame lynn's people and you mentioned him in front of in front of mr Wu. we don't do that, that. looks no, <laughs> we don't want her to know that we've been talking to Brady. Oh. Just Joan and Emma, both of you make me luck rolls. Uh -oh. Okay. Um, I'm like, hang on, this is what I get for using dice that uh, I can't see. This yeah, is what so you get for using the cheater dice. <laughs> yeah, right, you both made it. Um, who made it by more? Let's see, like, I got uh, I only made it by 41 five. out of 72. I got 41 right, so, out of 72. Oh, well, there we go. All right, um, Emma, there's a knock at your door that man somehow gets through your-, uh, your uh, How drunk am I at this point? You're starting to come down. You've had pretzels and water. Yeah, come on. <laughs> That's you can really hear the knocking. The knock, the knock will continue. Ah, <laughs> stop! So I get up and I'm like doing that grab at stuff to get to the door. We are just like, what? Um, you open the door and uh, standing in the doorway is a Caucasian man. Let's see here. I need that one shortly. Aha, here we go. This guy. Uh, and he says, oh, I, I have to, don't, there we go. Uh, he says, um, hello, my name is Carl Stanford, and, uh, I am an associate of a very Speed important- Speed it up, speed it up. I don't know what you're saying, but you gotta hurry it up, sir. <laughs> I, I see. Uh, I'm an associate of a very important man, uh, Mr. Ho Fang, and, uh, he is very interested in um, uh, talking with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you be That's willing nice. to join me in- No. No. Mm, no. Okay. Mm. Uh, Mr. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right here. If you wanna to talk to me, I'm just gonna ask that you make an appointment tomorrow and that I need to just go right now, okay? Where are you, wait. wait. I just, I'm I need- Making an appointment need, for tomorrow. Yeah, just make an appointment for tomorrow. going right now. Just, yeah, I'm gonna go right now, okay? So we're going to Mr. Nope, nope, you're gonna go away. You're gonna leave something with the concierge that tells me what time you would like to meet tomorrow. And then I'll get around to that tomorrow. 
here. And he, he hands you a piece of paper. Cool. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> you like slam, like <laughs> he, you slam the door in his face. <laughs> and then I throw the paper on the thing and crawl back to bed. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm Joan, sorry, when I said the thing, I mean like a table or whatever. Right, yeah. right. Joan, there's a knock on your door. All right, so I go and I look through the keyhole. You see Carl Stanford standing at your doorway. All right, I open it up a little crack. It's like, can I help you? Hello, my name is Carl Stanford and I'm an associate of um, a very important local businessman who wishes to, uh, wishes to meet you. Uh, come on in, come here. Oh, thank oh, you. Open mm. the door. And then Lovely I, hotel. I, I, I leave it. I leave it open a little bit. So, okay. yeah. So, look, you woke me up. I'm very sorry. Um, uh, so, you, some important businessman wants to talk to me. Why? Ah, uh, yes, I represent a Mr. Ho Fang. Really? All right. And uh, uh, Mr. Fang would very much like to. Um, would very much like to meet with you and your associates. I'm sure he would. Um, That's why I I'm here. Yeah, I can't speak for the rest of them, but I'm not willing to meet with him right now. Uh, why ever not? Do you see this? <laughs> I'm not ready to meet with anybody. Do you have a, a, a card or something that I can get back in touch with him? Yes, yes, and he'll give you a piece of paper with the address on it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Say hi to him for me, and I open the door. Uh, of, of course. Mm -hmm. um, you, uh, um, being a, a little more sober, yes. you'll hear him knock on the rest of the doors of, of the, the party members, and like, you know, he'll stay there knocking for like 30 seconds. And then he, uh, then he disappears. Okay. Yeah, no, I wasn't going to help him. <laughs> They're not here. Go away. Yeah. All right. So we got the piece of paper. Hmm. It, now, do I recognize the address at all? It's an address in Shanghai. You haven't been there. Okay. So it's not. It's not uh, anything I've heard. Oh of wait, or were you one of the? If you were, no, you weren't part of the reconnaissance. Group. I wasn't part of the reconnaissance yeah. group. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, uh, speaking of the reconnaissance crew, you three, what are you doing for the afternoon? So are we check, did we not want to check with Brady? I mean, oh, that, I, no. I, I, I think checking with Brady actually might be a good idea um, because Brady isn't aware of what happened with Mr. Moo, right? We, we didn't talk to Brady to tell him what happened with Mr. Moo. No, I, I was actually thinking we should do that first thing this morning, but I think we should get around to that. You should know what the situation is. Yes, Mr. Moo is dead or missing. Did, did we find his body or just a lot of blood? Oh, dead, yeah, dead. Yeah, dead. Oh, God, no, I know, now I remember, now I remember. Very dead. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, my brain had put that, personally. My brain had put that out of its, yes. Um, <laughs> so we should tell him about Mr. Moo. We should tell him that the scrolls are gone and maybe let him know what our plans are with Ho Fang. He's a soldier. Maybe he can help us with something a little bit more. Well, he probably won't, won't want to engage with He's trying to, he's trying to, like to create that seal again, remember? And if we don't have those scrolls, we, I don't, we may not be able to seal this mess up. Well, yes, and that, that's why we want to assault the villa and get them back. Right. We can't blow this villa up, you realize. I'm very well aware. Our, our, our friends can't blow it up either. Also aware of that, but if we can Apparently point them... Can. <laughs> if we can point them at the front of the building, chances are good they're not keeping the scrolls there. And should, you know. <laughs> Perhaps we can use the um, explosives as a... on the way out. Hmm... I mean, do we want to bring the whole building down? I'm not opposed, but Shanghai police are- There are tracks in anything that we've stolen. Why this would we the... need to hide the tracks of anything we've stolen if we've killed Ho Fang? It's very possible that someone won't be killed. 
I mean, if that's the case, they should, they, they'll have a pretty good idea of what we were looking for the moment that they figure out that, the, that those scrolls are missing. It's possible. They may also believe it was blown up. I mean, they sent a, a replica of Emma after us. We are already starting on the, on the back foot. I know, I know. But it, it could be on the way out we use the explosives. I, I am concerned about using them on the way in, especially if we have to recover these items. Well, if we use them on the way in and we point them at the front of at the front of the villa, chances are very good that what we're looking for isn't being stored there. Let's hope. Uh, but yeah, we should definitely talk to Brady about his uh, his missing uh, researcher fellow and discuss what his plan B is going to be. Great. I'm sure we'll have to go to a plan D at this point since you know losing <laughs> plan J, <laughs> losing a primary researcher like that would cripple pretty much anyone. Uh, all right, so you head to the New China Front, and um, you get a mess. You you have them send a message that Brady. You want to talk to Brady, um, and they set up a meeting in this in a banquet hall of a restaurant. Oh, good. Is. is it the same restaurant that we've been using? No, it is a different <laughs> restaurant. Uh, Brady never goes to the same restaurant twice. Oh, what a booty! Right. <laughs> Uh, so, um, you, you are brought into the banquet hall, uh, the same deal. They, they pull a car, there's a car in the warehouse that drives out, it's trying to keep you from ta getting tailed. Um, you're brought into the, the banquet hall through the kitchen, uh, and, uh, you, uh, uh the, and Jack Brady is, uh, uh, sitting there eating a piece of chicken. Mm. Good choice. I hear you have something you want to tell me. Afternoon, Mr. Brading. <laughs> There's uh, rather a few things going on. Uh, last night was very eventful. Okay. Well. Mushin is dead. What? He's getting right to it, shall we? Yep. Where are the scrolls? We don't know. Well, well most likely taken by Ho Feng. The, the, the minion of his, the, uh, the, the Caucasian fellow with the glasses. Stanford. Stanford. He's the one that has them. He's probably translating them. God damn it. Uh, How long has he had them? He brought them to the compound. We were observing the compound just the other night, right? So two nights ago, was it? Uh, I mean, well, he, he hasn't had them for more than 24 hours at this point, I think. 12, 12 hours at the absolute outside. So, feel like we can tell them about our plans tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? You already have to cut out of the bag, Thorncastle. That's all you. Have fun. You're not attacking Ho Fang's compound, are you? Maybe. We need to get those scrolls. Oh. Do you know where the scrolls are? No. Yeah. But we have we 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 have a uh, a map of the villa, and uh, somewhat of an idea of, of where maybe a more mm, where where the master suite could be. Can we roll it out for him? Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll I'll pull I'll pull it to, out. to do okay. this. You'd need like ten hand grenades and two bicycles. Well, funny story. <laughs> maybe two gorillas. Also have those. And we're and I was fucking joking. I'm glad and because I'm not. Swords. And us. I'm I'm so glad you were joking because I'm not. There's 20 people. There, there we will have 20 people, two gorillas, 10 hand grenades, two bicycles. Did I miss anything? Oh, or tree. Or tree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, besides the three of us, of course. Wait, so you're working for Lynn? Mm, more like there's a mutual interest that we've pointed her at. This is, um, this is, she wants him dead for her own personal interests. So she's allowing us the use of these resources to achieve her own personal goals. So you're gonna kill Ho Fang tomorrow. That's the hope. Do you have any idea the chaos that's gonna like cause in Shanghai? Probably not an accurate one, but more or less. Oh, man. 
I get it. He's got the scrolls. We have to get those back before he uses them for whatever purpose. Yeah. Well, that's... Which means our time is very limited. What do you want from me? Well, you're a soldier and, and, and a damn good tactician from what, I, from what I've heard. Might be useful to, to, to have your assistance in actually setting up a plan so that this might act, this has a, this has a, a, a chance in hell of, of uh, working. I mean, Ho Fang's just a man. It's Stanford you have to be careful of. Tell us more about this Stanford fella. Stanford used to he uh, he's in a he's a disciple of Pen Yu. He's into that hocus pocus crap. Hocus pocus crap that makes some very interesting creations. He made yeah. some sort of a body double of, of, of a member of our party. What? Yes. Oh, man. All right, look. If you're going tomorrow, that's three days until we're leaving town. Probably not a bad thing. Where did you get hand grenades? I don't ask those sorts of questions. Not not when the two people who obtained them were very drunk. We got some fire bombs too, right? Three? Uh, theoretically, you're going to get some from Madam oh. Linton. Uh, oh, and I want to hold on. Brady does not. Uh, Brady thinks doesn't know you're leaving in three days. You haven't. You didn't give him the destroyer timetable. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So I want to want to retcon that. But, um, but he does know that we wanted him and to get a tank on the island on yes. a particular time. Yeah, yeah and, and, and know it's would, three days from now. I figured that would coincide. I don't remember. No, no timetable was discussed with Brady. And In fact, at one point you were like, what? first attack, second attack. Yeah. <laughs> So then I guess the question is, do we tell him? Yeah, we might as well tell him. Honesty is the best policy? <laughs> I have never abided by that rule. <laughs> um, right. We would also like to try and deal with Ho Fang as soon as possible so that we are only dealing with one weird person on, on the island on the Grey Dragon Island. We're making plans to be there in three days. Three days? I can't be ready by then. Are you, you can't go alone. We're not going alone. Who, what? Where are you getting an army? I wouldn't say it's an army, but a uh, hundred commandos should be uh, hopefully sufficient for this excursion. Oh, and a uh, a Japanese destroyer. You're working with the Japanese? Mate, at this point, we're working with anyone who will give us the resources we need to deal with a universal threat. Well, taking the Japanese out of this, uh, this theater of operation, this is a good thing for your people. Look, if, if Min finds out you're working with the Japanese, he's just going to kill us all. He'll also kill us all if we if he finds out that we're working with Madame Lin. I mean, that one's less bad. We'll probably get cut <laughs> off a hand. Let Min know we're we're taking Japanese resources away from China. This this is a good thing. Perhaps we're even diminishing their strength. You can make that case to him. I'm not gonna. I look. Well, let's just not let him know then. We're we're laying we're laying all of the cards on the table because so you're Frank attacking Gray Dragon Island in three days. Yes. Four days now. Four, four days. days, right? Sorry, four days. Is it four? Okay, four days. Yeah, yeah it was five days. Yes, no, it was five days this morning, unless another day has passed. No, it's four days. So it yeah, should be Saturday, May first. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, look. I think you know me well enough to know I'm not a sentimental person. So you go do what you got to do on Grey Dragon Island, and hopefully you'll soften them up enough that when we go in, 
we can actually take care of this. Soften who up enough? Which which them are you Penhew. referring to? There's a few of them. Penhu. I suppose if we don't succeed, your plan B. I'm the last plan. Yeah, plan B. This, oh, God, why? Can you can you delay the Japanese? Is there some way we could have it all happen at once? We had a chance to get a destroyer, and we took it. I I, I would love to be able to tell the Imperial Japanese. Oh, thank you so much for loaning us a destroyer, but you know we need it. We we need it in just you know three more days. I could get probably half my men ready in that time. That's better than none of them. Maybe yes. more. That, I don't know if we can get the tank loaded and ready to go in that time. Not without uh, not without being really obvious. Well, this could end up being a drawn out conflict as well. I hope not. We might spend some, mm, I don't know how long it'll take to bombard it. We'll have to take some time going on there. Like, hopefully it won't, but there's always the possibility. Look, you, you, you know as well as I do, Brady, that sometimes a situation presents itself and all you can do is the best that you can with, the, with what you have on hand. I would love to wait for the ideal moment for all of it, but with what happened to, to Mr. Moo and everything else that's been going on, we don't have that luxury. We may have other problems as well. Once this Lin fellow is killed, the whole, all three of these groups in town could be fighting amongst themselves. At least the Japanese are not involved in that little triumvirate. Yet. I mean, that's, that's my other concern is you kill Ho Fang and now Min's gonna be using the men to prop up Shanghai against Madame Lin, not sending Min to Grey Dragon Island. It's very confusing when I say Min and Min. Yes, that I, I followed well enough. But I, I mean, I'm not gonna put this in writing, but I think you're right. This is your best opportunity. And maybe you can do some damage that we can then use to take over this whole thing, but God damn it. All right, well, let me know when you're gonna go and I'll try and get as many of my men together as I can. Um, right. Sounds good. I wrote it down. May 1st? It was yeah. May 1st at night. Yeah. Uh, that's when you're getting on the dinghy. And then. Oh, no, it's May 2nd. I wrote down May 2nd. Uh, it is five more okay. days. All right. Yeah, it is five more days. I okay. said Saturday, May 1st when I meant Saturday, May 2nd. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right, May 2nd. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's probably a day's travel to Grey Dragon Island. Unless you have a nuclear powered yacht. Wow. That is damn enough. Alexandria has many reasons now for avoiding that sort of thing. <laughs> Radiation uh, poisoning will do that. So, yeah, he's going to head out and start making arrangements. And he's like, as he, you know, he's like trying to figure out how he can convince men that they need to go, they need to go fast, you know, they need to go in, in five days. Well, uh, but yeah, you have now told Brady. Uh, your plan. You you've done, told him your plan, and he's going to try and have as many men uh, uh, ready to go at the same time as you guys. Well, that went better than I expected it to. Quite honestly, right. now we're very committed to all of this. <laughs> I don't think we can back out at this point. So what do we do this evening? <laughs> sleep. Make sure you get a full night's sleep. Carb load. Check in, check in on Emma and uh, and Joan to make sure that they haven't wandered off and blown things up without us. It's a good idea. Let's keep an eye on the, the two of them. Yeah, a very close eye. So I imagine we're going back to the hotel at this point. Right. Oh, what, one more thing. What was it? Madam Lynn said we have to ask Emma about um, what a, a dinner. What was it she asked? A favor? Yeah. yeah. She, she wants Emma, she wants to see Emma one more time before this is all over. When she's sober, we can discuss that with her as well. Yeah. 
Although adding in, adding in the comment that that she's that she's pretty well given up on winning Emma's heart might go a long way. I might grab my stuff and spend the night at Madame Lynn's. Not that I'm afraid that yes, you are. one of your friends the hotel's going to blow up in their sleep. Yes, you are. But that's a very real possibility. <laughs> Treated as such. Yeah. Um, all right. You you will. Uh, um, they, you, they're perfectly happy to put you up for the night. Um, you, they give you a, a very nice room and all the, all the food you could want. And there's, uh, you know, there's, there's a, a very nice library, most of the books in Chinese and, um, but yeah, you can, you can definitely spend a, a wonderful night there. You'll get back one hit point if you've taken any damage. Nice. Uh, so, uh, uh, Joan and Emma, are you going to, are you gonna just sleep this one off? Or are you gonna? It's whenever drunk Emma's awake is when drunk Emma's awake. That's kind of how it works. Pick it up at midnight. <laughs> are they gonna? Are they gonna try to talk to us tonight when they get back? Or yeah, um, that's... after you wake up. Yeah, I, I I I think that I would go to their rooms and like very gently tap on the door. Not enough to wake them up if they're asleep, but enough to get their attention if they're awake. Um. How okay, many both hours? Of you make me con rolls. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, I'm like, how many hours into my... Emma, you have a penalty die on this. Oof. I need I to find the die. Okay. <laughs> I made a... Yeah, it's regular. So what's my... What am I rolling? Oh, um, yeah, so I'm, I make it. Oh, nice. So yeah, my you are both 80. awake. I'm a professional alcoholic. That's true. <laughs> I believe they prefer the term high functioning. Yes, <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, they are both awake. So like, you know, you knock on one door and both doors open. <laughs> I'm just like, are you that little guy again? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm the little woman that you're aware that, that you travel with. <laughs> oh, so glad to see you, Alexandra. We did you have that? You had that guy at your door? This guy yeah. came to my door. So and I go back and get the paper and I I'm just like, note. yeah, so this guy came yeah. and wanted to meet. Uh, like he wanted to paper, take it. The piece of paper has uh, Chinese characters on it and then it has Ho Fang's address. Yeah, and Ho, he said he wanted us to, Ho Fang wanted to talk to us. And I'm sure I recognize the address pretty much immediately because I've been there. Yep. Do I have to tell you that this is a bad idea? Alexandra, uh, what does it say? It's, it's, Ho Fang's address. I wasn't gonna go, but cool. That's we got rid of him. But he oh, said his name was Stanford. Stanford yeah. like the university. <laughs> yeah. Completely annoying person. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to sleep and he interrupts me. Well, and apparently he's 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 one of the weird ones. He's one of the ones who can actually use stuff. If I would have known that. So I should have put a grenade in his shorts while he was standing yes. at my door. Yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> missed no. opportunity next next time i'll be like hold on <laughs> no, we, oh, it's too bad we can't recruit him or something if he knows how to use the stuff if he is working with ho fang that means he's working with pen oh. which means we don't want him <laughs> right sort of to our side why is he busy did he, but did he say what he wanted he said that ho fang wanted to talk to us and then okay. i said I didn't really want to, but where, where, what was the deal? And he handed me this note. Well, perhaps it would be good to make an appointment to break two days from now to meet with Hofei. <laughs> well, good that today. might be what this says. I have no idea. I just told him to make an appointment and go away. I, I, I can't read Chinese. I have no idea. Me neither. Should we take it downstairs to the concierge and see what it does? I think we've terrified the concierge enough for one day. <laughs> How about the bartender? So I really terrified the bartender enough for one day. Uh, yeah, he saw. Oh, the, no, he's our buddy. He saw oh, the hand grenades. He, he saw, is. He saw the hand grenades. Oh, he. But he's oh. our buddy, man. He gave us so much to drink. It was awesome. I may have to have a word with that man. <laughs> yeah. So there are things that we did yesterday that I'm not even entirely sure what we did. Wait a minute. What time is it? Is it today no, or yesterday? It's still today. Okay. Barely. So today. Ish. Um. Yeah, so we went to see Asago Toro. Taro, I think. 
Okay. I may have called him the right name. I may have called him the wrong name. I don't know. I'm sure he had offended he him. Very drunk. <laughs> Toro, Toro, Toro. He oh, gave no. us some bikes and some grenades. Now you see a, a there is a bicycle in Emma's room, just like lying <laughs> on the floor. Why a bicycle? Why? Well, first of all, why not? Because I'm really to go. I can't drive a car, so right. that's step one. So this could go. It would go. We could go. Well, and also too, like I don't know if there are roads around his compound. So I was thinking, and again, too, this is what I think I was thinking. I'm not entirely sure I was thinking at this point in time, but I think this is what I was thinking is that I would be bicycling around and have a basket on this bike and then pull the pin. Or maybe maybe I thought Joan and I were going to ride tandem and she'd ride on the back and I'd pedal and she'd lob them over. I don't know. Something don't, like that. Something was happening like that. I, I, don't, I don't think the bike is big enough to ride tandem. No, no, no. But we were gonna. Really? We were talking about putting them together or something. But no, yeah. we were gonna ride and throw, ride and throw. Yes. And and because we could, these will go over the wall, over the wall. All right. Um, if I'm if why don't we just yeah. the whole thing first in two days? Maybe he's a nice Wait, guy, and maybe he's uh, means us no harm whatsoever. Let's not destroy him or blow him up over the next forty-eight hours. What What do you say? I heard something. Something ice cream. I'm we'll have ice cream tomorrow. We'll have ice cream tomorrow. Okay, okay. that sounds great. All right, ice cream party. Uh, ice cream party. Joan, uh, out in town in the Chinese sector that we're going to have an ice cream in uh, tomorrow. So here's the thing. I don't necessarily want to blow up Ho Fang's compound because there's things like, I don't know, police. Hmm. Wait, this might be an Emma doppelganger. Right? <laughs> like, 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 give, give her a very, a very long look. <laughs> Are you actually Emma? I don't want to go to Chinese jail. Ah, this is Emma, just a little more drunk than I'm used to. <laughs> no, I'm sober. My head hurts. I've got grenades and a bicycle. I'm. My head hurts. Do you want? We're having ice cream, cream later. <laughs> no, I, I'm ready for. I'm ready for some it, sleep and an ice cream party. It's a tough day. Silvano is missing. He's still missing. Yes. I'm exhausted. That's fair. Um, I do have one question. If I imagine you two want to go back to bed. As opposed to what? Go blow up hang, Ho Fang right now? I mean, as opposed to maybe getting some food. Oh, yeah, let's get food. Ooh, yeah, yeah I think let me put my grenades in the closet. Please. Uh, Joan, did you have a chance to, uh, do some re to, to do some looking through Silvano's notes for anything that might help? That's what I, after, right after uh, uh, this gentleman left, I tried to look through the notes and I, I did see something that was about protection, but you have to carve a, a, one of the elder signs onto something. So I was thinking I could make a bandana or something that I could use that would interfere. There is one, uh, uh, the information about how to uh, do that the thing where he he exchanges uh, it's not information but it, it, he was able to exchange uh, with the other person be able to give them like when he gave the radiation the, the transference ritual yes that's what he was doing when his neck got snapped uh, just so I don't, no, yeah 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 but <laughs> um, I could carve something or or or, or I could carve a stone and, but I, something that would be another headdress of, of protection. That's not a bad idea. I just don't know if it would work with something that has a hook in your brain. I, it's not a bad idea. It's certainly worth trying. I just don't know how yeah. effective it might be. Yeah, I didn't see anything else about stopping it or cutting it off, but it was just, it was more of the protection. And a lot of notes about how to teach other people. Oh, about sure. how to do rituals because he was putting together this whole thing for uh, being able to teach uh, at, at, at Rogers back at Rogers place. Yeah, Silvano wanted to raise an army of sorcerers. So teach them what ritual? What is the ritual he wanted to teach? At the beginning it was the protection ritual. Oh. Why can't we just put like a headband of those things that you see on the door, those signs that are on a door? Do not enter. <laughs> No soliciting. <laughs> <laughs> One you way. know, like, Can you put, like how are they stopping me? Exit like, only? Stop. Is that what it's? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fire escape. Um, 
you remember like it could Carrefour's place and all those other places that we've been like the the people put on the doors in the in the threshold yeah the, uh, the dutchman's uh door, uh door frame had some like that yeah, it was crazy cat man. donald yep. and flint have seen those fairly recently yeah yeah, yeah. but i don't have anything in that there's nothing in the about notes that. about that there's nothing in the notes about that i don't yeah. have any the language no. or whatever it is yeah. there so that's the that's the only thing i saw in in there um except there's a bunch of receipts and other things like that i just kind of i put them in another drawer because retail well try to cares about receipts just put them in a, i put them in my bag with the explosives <laughs> <laughs> i took them out because they they were too many to deal with so i put them in a in a drawer so i had more room but i'm keeping the notes and things with me okay all right leave all the receipts behind we won't need those nope yeah. I put the explosives in the closet. I shut the door and I'm ready to go. Like, I can, let's see, go. I can see Nick twitching over there. Yep. So uh, are you guys, uh, after dinner, are you going to go to bed? Are you going <laughs> to? I, I was, but yeah. <laughs> if you guys have something else you'd want to do, I could try. I mean, there's not a whole lot else we can do at this point, I think. I think a good night's yeah. sleep is going to be best. Yeah, I I didn't get too much sleep this afternoon, so yeah, it would be good. You're, you're looking, I, I imagine I would have like found aspirin somewhere in the hotel and plied the two of them with it. Yeah. All right, so you go back up to your rooms. Uh, Joan and Emma, make me listen huh. rolls. Listen with an L. Um, so I have an 11. I'm sure nope. that's a some kind of success. No. Nope. All right. So Joan, you are fast asleep. Emma, you hear like. I'm in bed. Yep. Like little, it's like skittering, but it's, um, it's, it sounds heavy. Not, it's not like no, a I tiny little. Ooh, let Silvano's finger get away. <laughs> yeah. So I'm That's up in heavy. bed like this with the finger. I mean, I'm sorry, not the finger, my sword. <laughs> oh yeah, you sit up in bed with the sword. Um, it's dark. You hear like, but again, there, it, there seems to be like a light source coming from under your bed. Mm. Is so. Let me ask a question. Is the room? Is there a, like a light switch? I don't know much There's about. There's like a lamp on your bedside. Okay, so I turn it on because okay. I. Yeah. You turn it on and the 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 skittering noise stops. How far is the door from my bed? It's not that big a room, so maybe like I don't know, twenty feet, fifteen feet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to creep to the edge of the bed. I'm going to like, I'm standing on the bed basically, and I'm at the edge of the bed mm -hmm. towards the door. Okay. I leap as far as I physically can to the door and run out. All right. Make me a dexterity roll. This is going to be an opposed dexterity roll. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah, oh, no is right. You know, when I put in con jump, and appearance, jump is a skill. Why aren't you making it? Dex. Dex is the dump, is a dump stat. <laughs> Dex is my dump stat, but I do make it with a 13. <laughs> oh, man. Is that a hard success? Um, it's a hard success, yes. Not an extreme. Oh, got it. All right. Um, you, like, launch yourself off the bed, and you make it to the door, and mm -hmm. you, you would swear that, like, for the briefest of instance, like, something tried to grab you right as you get to the door and get out okay. in the hallway. Okay, so I, um, first of all, <laughs> LD Brat one gives us 500 bits to summon the murder cat, which honestly is the best idea I've heard all I day. love it, <laughs> I love it, let's do it. We know some, we know, we know a guy. Yeah, that's right. I know a cat. <laughs> um, so I take my sword, I'm like, tick, 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 on Alexandria's door. I was waiting for that. Do I hear this? Do I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay. tick, 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 tick. I'll, I'll, tick, I'll, tick, tick. so I, I, I hear metal on wood. And so I'm coming, I'm coming to the door with a dagger already in my hand and open it carefully. Like, am I? I'm like, with a sword. Ex exactly like this. I'm like, they're skittering in my room. <laughs> 
what sort of skittering like a rat or I don't know I don't know it's under the bed just get it <laughs> all right give me a moment and I and I'm, I'm gonna leave I'm, I'm gonna leave leave the door open while I go and retrieve a second a second dagger and okay. and then uh put pants on uh Joan make me a dex roll with a penalty die Oof. Okay, dex roll with penalty die. That means two of the tens, right? That's right. Uh -huh. And you're going to take the worst one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that part. <laughs> <laughs> but we have murder cat money just in case. True. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, and this was a dex roll? Yes. Sweet. Both of them were 56. Uh, my dex is 65. So it's not a hard success. It's All just right, you make regular. it. Okay. okay. Uh, wait, I should roll. All right. Uh, so yeah, uh, Alexandra, you come back, you are prepared and you are uh, uh, well armed and I guess you're heading to Emma's room. Yeah. I'm creeping behind like this. I'm like- <laughs> The sword. <laughs> no guests in the hallway, so, that's too bad. Thanks. So, so do I yell or anything or? Nope. Okay. Nope, everything's fine. Uh, so you- I you, rolled uh, over. <laughs> <laughs> you open Emma's door and in Emma's door is sort of, it's glowing a purple that's so deep it's almost black. Like her room is lit by this light that is so purple that it's almost black. And you see the piece of paper that had the Chinese written on it has a bunch of fibrous legs. And these legs are like reaching all over, like searching the room and like going through the room. Tell down. And one of the one of the arms is in the closet, and it's bringing the satchel out. Okay. <laughs> well then, um... I think we're gonna go to initiatives. Thank goodness. Uh, Joan, we're gonna deal with you separately. So uh, I think this thing goes on an 80. I don't think any of you beat an 80. Damn it, I, I'm just below an 80. Yep. Uh, so on an 80, each of you need to make me a dodge roll as this thing just lashes Oof. out tentacles to grab you. 31 uh, made Andrew, it. You need to, oh, did you make a hard success? No, that's a regular success. Okay. Um, Fun. I miss it. My dodge is 20. Do I bother re-rolling? It missed you as well. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Um, the no. Alexander, this thing got a hard success on you. Damn it. So it's going to grab you unless you want, I mean, you can use some inspiration. Yes, or... we have plenty. Uh, my, and my dodge is 45, so I have a reasonable chance. All right. Mm -hmm. and a hard success in order to... Yep. Can you, can you parry paper with a knife? Because that would... I mean, scissors, Just, scissors beat paper. <laughs> so these these arms are definitely not uh, paper, but if you would, it's got a nineteen. All right, yeah. So both of you, like two of these tentacles, lash out at you, uh, reaching for you, and and you almost get a sense of kind of blind reaching, just sort of like flailing <laughs> towards the sound, um, and and. The, the the rest of the paper kind of has this weird like teetering movement on the legs that it has left. As you hear, you see, it brings the um, the satchel sort of to its its physical body and it's like shaking it. Uh, that was 80s, 70s. 75. Alexandra. Um, so I see where its fibrous body is, yeah? So, I, I mean, all of, all of the mass of it is tentacles. There's a piece of paper, and out of that paper are just coming down tentacles, and the tentacles seem to be the entirety of this thing. Okay, I'm gonna go after the arm that has the um, uh, the satchel. So you're gonna need to get in very close then. Yep. Okay. Make me, um, you're, I'm assuming, a knife roll. Yes. This thing has a, a penalty die on all dodge rolls. Cool. It will not dodge. And that is uh, 72 just made it. All right, you you slice at an arm. What's your damage? 
Uh, it is a 1d4 plus 2, so okay. uh, that is four, four points of damage. Four points. You So you like slice down at one of, of these little arms, and it just kind of blinks out of existence. Okay. So does that mean that the satchel has hit the ground? Because I was going out after the arm that was carrying the satchel. Uh, the satchel, like, yes, the satchel hits the ground. Make me a luck roll. Okay. Uh, 46 just made it. <laughs> all right, I rolled an 02. Grenades Damn roll it. out all over the floor. As long as no pins get pulled. They have pin grenades during World War II? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is World War I. These were the early ones. I think these so. Were like, these were like, no, these are like turn, yeah. Yeah. You're essentially breaking a seal inside. Oh, that, geez. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call over, over my shoulder to Emma. Get Donald. <laughs> he might know grenades. Uh, <laughs> all right, now seventies, sixties, fifties, forties. Dump stat. Yep. So <laughs> I hear get Donald, and I pound on the door, and I'm like, get up! They've got the grenades. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. yeah, that gets you up quite quickly. All right, Joan. <laughs> yes. You. Um, you wake up and you are completely entangled in these black purple strands of something. Okay. And when you wake up, you are being cradled by, it seems like dozens of them. And you feel this weird swaying movement and you wake up and you realize you're on the balcony of your hotel room. Okay. And how many, I mean, it just seems like a massive amount of legs yeah, or? it seems like countless arms. Uh, okay, can I grab them? <laughs> uh, they've grabbed you. I know, but can I hold on to them? Are they, you know, it's like- They're not, they don't want to drop you. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Um, no, no, no. So okay. far, I mean, you are, you're like, they're all wrapped around you. Okay, 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 okay. Um, all right. First, I scream. All right. That'll be, yeah, this round you scream. So, yes. Uh, yes. So, Donald, you wake up, and right as you wake up, you hear a scream come from Joan's room. Oh, no. Uh, um, well, Donald will get his pistol. Um, he doesn't have time to get much else, so he'll just take the right. and run out. All right, yeah. Donald is running out in his underclothes and a pistol. Yeah, that's uh, a- all right. We are back to the top. Uh, <laughs> On, on 80s, both of you will once again make me dodge rolls. Oh, much better. Ooh, I actually make you with an inspiration. Ooh, do you need yeah, Are you going to use it? No, no, I rolled really well. Okay. Do you, Tiana, do you need it? I mean, he rolled really well, but sure. Okay, let's try uh, again. I lose it. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> Well, I'm on the Emma board. <laughs> no. That's a hundred. No. <gasps> oh, yeah. I said the Emma board, not the Amy board. Yeah. Yeah. Fly and say 99. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say a hundred is definitely different. Hey, YouTube, you might want to note that down. Uh, so, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, Amy, what would you get? 11. So it's not a hard success, All right, but so it's close. You are not grabbed. You dodge out of the way and you watch in horror as one of these tentacles comes for Alexandra, uh, wraps around her. And as it does that, you hear a crunch of the grenade below where, uh, where it grabbed her. And uh, I need to roll a die real quick. Okay. Uh, that was uh, 80s. Uh, also on an 80, uh, Joan, you are, um, it is taking you over your, the balcony of your hotel. Uh, it, you are now on the <laughs> out in the cold night air of Shanghai, actually the warm night air at mm. this time. Uh, it's humid, it's muggy. Um, 
It's a terrible night to be wrapped in tentacles. Uh, yes. <laughs> Is there a good night to be wrapped in tentacles? Uh, only if you're in Japan. So. <laughs> I was actually kind of deliberately setting up for that one. Uh, so uh, um, you, it's it's taking you over the over the uh, balcony. Uh, also, eighty Donald, you are out in the hallway, right. running. See through. Emma's running. door open, yes, and sir. coming out into the hallway is this weird black purple light. What do I do? I see Emma there. Uh, yeah, I see, forgot. Am I in the doorway or am I out of the doorway? No, you're out of the doorway because you went to get okay. Donald. Yeah. So you Great see, um, you see Alexandra like wrapped up in a tentacle of some sort. I, I, I'll pull my gun out and try to find where it's what's holding her. Is there? Does it have a body? What? What is it? So the body appears to be like a half sheet of paper, and so this sheet of paper is floating in the air, and out of it are pouring these black purple tentacles. All right. That's, I've got to aim for the the, the sheet of paper. In the center, okay. the mass, center mass. All right, so this is going to be a, an aimed shot, so that's going to be a penalty die. Got it, got it. Please don't hit me. I already have enough problems going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 61 is my is the worst of the two. That's a regular success. Okay, All right, so are you okay with that as opposed to what's the better of the two? My better one's a 41. I, a I hard roll again. Okay, no, but I mean, is it a hard success or an extremely success? It's not, is it? It's not as a regular. Okay. Okay. I'll keep it 61, which is a success anyway. All right. Oh, ho, ho. so I roll a 10. So uh, A, the paper's very small, and B, it's got this weird, it's constantly moving, like those, uh, those weird Sesame Street alien things. Uh, and so your shot, it dodges out of the way of your shot. Yip, 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 yip. <laughs> That's the one. Um, all right, that was 80s, 70s, 60s. Did I, I, I'm 75. Did I 70, hear that? Sorry. Did I hear that crunch under me? Huh. Make me a listen roll. Let's okay. see. Uh, 32, hard success. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am just this side of panicking. So I'm, I'm going to try to get myself out of this, like try to cut the... Like if, if if I can worm free enough to try and cut the, the the tentacle that's holding me and get out. Okay, I'm gonna call this an opposed strength roll. Why does it have to be strength? <laughs> I didn't roll great. Oh my god, I did! I got a hard success. Eleven. You, all right, so yeah, you manage to like worm your way out and you hit the floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm 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 going to like book it for the door yelling grenade grenade. Yeah, you hit the floor and you just start crawling saying grenade grenade actually you're probably yelling grenade at the top of at the top of my fractured voice. Yes. All right. Uh that was 70s, 60s, 50s. Do, do, uh Joan, you, you're in on this. Okay, I was going to say are you do me separate or not cuz I'm no, 65. No, no. I'm 65. Okay, 65. So I I I know Emma's next door to me, so I start screaming for Emma. Okay, yeah, you are you are yelling. You are now down over the balcony, headed down to the street. Yeah, I, I don't have any any knives. I have nothing with me. It's just me. Yeah. Um, can I take, uh, let's see, oh, part of my nightgown and try to wrap it around the, their arms? Or am I, am I just, just too- So that's, I'll, I'll, you can make, you're pretty well wrapped up. You're worried that, you know, this thing's holding you. Yeah. Um, getting out of it means you're going to fall three stories. Yeah, well, I was just Unless thinking maybe I could hold on to it. Yeah. Oh, totally. I was going to try to wrap it up and hold it so it couldn't move. All right. Trying to give, me a, it. give me an opposed strength roll. Let's see what happens. All right. Oh, man. No. Nope. Paper strong stuff. So, nope. yeah, you can't even get out of it. You're just like, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I'm struggling. Ugh. I'm just struggling. Right. I'm screaming, though. I'm screaming. Yeah, you are screaming. Um, and your screams, people on the street are starting to know, you know, like that are walking by have heard you screaming and they're looking up. Uh, all right, that was what six, that looks like. <laughs> yeah. uh, 60s, 50s, 40s, Emma's. Yeah, <laughs> Emma's. So I come, I'm going to open, I'm going to be kind of cautious and open the door with my sword to Joan's room. All right. Um, her, it is empty. Okay. Uh, you see uh, her satchel of grenades sitting on a chair. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, good. 
and the the balcony door is open. Am and I you able hear to hear her screaming out the door? Okay, so either this turn or next turn, I would run to the balcony and just take a look. All right, since you were cautious, that'll be next turn. Okay. Uh, all right, I will decrement a timer that you don't know how long is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I knew that's what you were rolling for. Uh, and uh, on an 80, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm scrambling for the door as fast as I can go. Uh, Joan, the one with you is down another floor, so you're now on the second floor. Okay. Crawling around. Um, and the one in... Uh, Alexandra, as you're trying to crawl away, make a dodge roll. I would like to use GM inspiration. Oh, okay. I like that sentence. Yep. <laughs> oh, much better. Oh, one. <gasps> Darn it. Not we win the good. game. Not yes. that good. So you like, you start crawling and you hear, again, you get a sense of like blindness. You hear this like thump, thump, thump as a tentacle is like whapping around trying to like grab you and um, it's clear that it's not just like, you're right there, snack. Uh, and um, so that happens. You're down there. Uh, Donald. I'll take another shot at it. Well, Alexander is trying to get out. So All right. Get one more time. All right. That's a regular success. 72 with disadvantage. It dodges again. This thing is a good dodge. It just... Uh, okay, um, Joan. Yes. You're closer to the ground now. Okay, I'm going to struggle harder because I figure it's better to go down than it is to go over with this gas. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to make you an offer. No. You can take a bonus die on this roll, but if you are successful, you will fall, or you can make a normal roll and try and hold on. And Your this choice. Is which, 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 my thing on my run at re This is strength. I'm gonna make a regular roll. Okay. I'm gonna use GM inspiration. Okay. Oh God, I'm on the Emma list. Yes! Did you fumble? I got a zero seven. I mean, you were super successful, so it's not going to drop you unless that's what you want. As a matter of fact, what do you want out of this? You're going to get what you want. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I have tied my uh, the, the, the ripped off nightgown to it, and I'm using that as an extension so I don't have to fall quite so far. Okay. So you bust your way out of this, and then you like slide down a chunk of your... Uh, uh, thing and then you land on an awning. So like you you fall a story, you land on an awning, uh, you take no damage because you rolled so well and I rolled so crappy. And yeah, that you are now um, in a torn nightgown uh, on the streets of Shanghai. Sweet. Uh, all right, uh, that was sixties. Emma's. So I, I I think oh, he's sorry. 65. I think he skipped yeah. I'm I, I'm I a seventy five. Crawling out of the room. I thought that was. Yeah, and 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 well, that was yes. I I, I, I was I was out of it last time. You hit the ground, and now, and now you've crawled out of the room. This excellent. You will be out of the room. And I want to close the door behind me and like get away from that room as far as I can. So Donald is in the door. I'll move. I'll move. I'm like like I'm, I'm like reaching up and pushing at his hip, like trying to just get him out. Like go, grenade out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you uh, uh, yeah, you slam the door shut. I'm sure that will not if that will shield you from the blast that is to come. I'm getting as uh, far away from it as I can on the next turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you like slide skitter out of the room. You push him aside and you like with your leg. You're like slamming the door shut. Um, all right, uh, uh, Emma. So you... I hear the word grenade. Yeah. And I think Alexandria wants them. <laughs> Grab them, grab them. You grab Joan's bag of grenades and you bring them out into the hall? For Alexandria. All right. I appreciate your 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 wherewithal and your team spirit. I'm saying get the fuck out of here. All right. <laughs> uh, like, what? I... what do you mean, what? <laughs> I'm gonna- Good, I'm glad you got the satchel, yes. 
like a <laughs> die down. Uh, all right. Um, on an 80, uh, Emma make me a dot. Oh, wait, no, not yet. Um, Emma make me a, a spot hidden roll, let's call it. Okay. Um, actually, where is that? Oh, okay. I make it just a regular success. All right, with a regular success, you are taking the grenades uh, back into the hallway. Right before you leave the room, you see those tentacles starting to climb back up of the balcony in Joan's room. Uh oh. Okay. If I had an extra action, I would shut the door behind me. Sure. Yeah. You slam the door. No problem. Okay. Um, uh, that was. Uh, all right, now we're at the top. So on the top of the lineup, it climbs up there. Uh, you slam the door shut on this one. Um, <laughs> sure, yeah, all right. Um, oh, 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 oh. We're all, we're all, all right. in the hallway like, what? <laughs> With an ought four, uh, yeah. under the door that you just closed, that piece of paper just kind of rolls uh, out. Just the piece of paper. Uh, 70s. 75. Yeah. I have an 80 that was Donald. Oh, sorry, 80. Yeah, 80 is Donald. Right. Well, uh, there's nothing in the hallway, right? Did we see something in the hallway? I mean, there's that piece of paper. And me in Alexandria. <laughs> and, and, yeah, a bag and, of and grenades. Emma with a bag of grenades. Is there any way I can press my gun against that piece of paper and just fire it at point blank range? Sure, yeah. Um, um, I mean, you'll be shooting into the floor of a hotel. I think that's that's all right at this point. His In a hall. <laughs> I think that's all right at this point. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, Donald walks up, points his gun, like uses his gun to spear the piece of paper to the ground, and then kablam! There is a, a, a loud gunshot. A hole goes through the paper and the floor. Uh, you may or may not hear a scream. Let's see. Make a luck roll, Donald. Is this a 45? 45 is a success. All right. You hear all you. Yeah, you're firing, I believe, a 45 in this case, right? Oh, that's yeah. Oh, so loud. all you hear is a 45 being fired, <laughs> um, probably for the next several days. Uh, so kablam, uh, you, you shoot down through the paper, uh, uh, 75, Alexandra. Uh, did it, did, did that shot look like it had an effect on the paper? Like, is it coming apart or? There is definitely a hole in that piece of paper. Okay. I want to go after it with the dagger and like try to drag it across the okay, paper. So you're going to need to go back towards the door to do that. Shit. No. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm going to either gonna... get away from the door or you can take care of the paper and be near the door. All right. I'm going to look at Emma and say, get away from here. There's a live grenade in there. And and like grab. <laughs> got a bag full of grenades. <laughs> live grenade in that room. It's going to blow. I don't... Right here. <laughs> it's going to blow soon. I don't know when, but soon. And then I'm going to like grab at, at Donald's jacket and run down the hall and be like. Just All right. Alexandra's wait. taking off. Uh. Put the jacket on. Joan. Fine, yes. your, your arm, I don't know. Joan, you are down on the streets of Shanghai. I, I'm going to go back to the front of the hotel. All right. You, you, will <laughs> head, you, like, you like hop down off of the awning and just start walking, uh, you know, yes. walking back towards the lobby like nothing happened. Correct. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, that was 60s. We're down to Emma's. Okay, so I scream, Flint, let's get out of here. Is this on my way out? Is his door on my way out or is his door behind me? Uh, Flint is make a luck roll. Oof. Mm. Oh, yeah, I make it 15. So I'm the luckiest human right now. All right, so the door is on your way to the out, to the his, his, his exit is towards okay. the, the, his door is towards the exit. Um, so I'm you just yell like, at his door, but you don't yeah. hear anything. Yeah, I just keep hitting it. I'm like, as I run past, I hit it a yeah. couple times. I'm like, Flint, bum, 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 live grenade, bum. let's go. Yeah, all right. And just go to the stairs or whatever. Sure. And that's when all hell breaks loose as there is a loud explosion in the hallway. The door to uh, Emma's room blasts open and like 
um, the door smashes into the hallway across from it. Uh, and there is fire and smoke and uh, all sorts of stuff. Um, uh, Joan, as you're heading to the lobby, there is an explosion that like blows out the um, uh, blows out of the windows on the fourth floor, and people are like ducking their heads down and screaming uh, as as there is a a um, you know smoke pouring out of the fourth floor of your hotel. Holy crap! Okay. Uh, all right, everybody in the hallway. The three of you need to make me. I'm gonna call them. Uh, Dex rolls. Okay. I was a ways down down the hall because I spent Ooh. my turn running. Yeah, you know what? You have a bonus die. Thank you. Yeah, okay. hearts. Emma made it. You made it. Oh Heart yeah, a, a not four. I got a critical success. Ooh. All right, no problem. So you all managed to dodge any sort of debris from this explosion. Um, the the this as you're heading towards the stairs, there is smoke everywhere. It is uh uh it is. It smells terrible. There's the smell of fire. There's burning. Uh, there is uh, 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 just horrible smells. Um, you got. Let's see who got the. Who's the last person? Emma, you are the last person. You look okay. back, and you see that piece of paper starting to rise on those same tentacles. Nope. Go. <laughs> Run. The problem is Donald needs to drop in his room for just a brief moment. That is a very, well, sure. Yeah. So everyone else is running. Um, you're heading, so you go to your room. It was next to Flint's, so it was close to the exit. Um, you, as you open the door to your room, you see the first piece of paper like coming down the hall towards you, and the second piece of paper slide under the door from uh, Joan's room. Oh, brother. Uh, he'll race into his room as fast as possible. He's okay. still wearing his underclothes, his, his pajamas at this point. Uh, but he's just going to grab his duffel bag and double out of here. That's the only thing he can get. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, the one is going to get one attack at you. Okay. So make me a dodge roll. Dodge roll is... Uh, can I inspire them? Yeah. I'm going to use yeah. GM inspiration as well. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, you know, Jay Matthews pays me to kill people. I gotta kill somebody. 33. Okay, I'm fine. 33 is fine. We're good. Oh, you are not fine, my friend. Oh. I rolled an 11. So you like, you're just like, yes. You like slide over your bed. You've got your duffel bag. You are out the door. You are running. And this tentacle just lashes out around your ankle. And you, um, uh, uh, and you like are caught. Uh, and so we are going to stay in initiatives then. Uh, we, we came out of them briefly, but now we're going to go back into them. So on an 80, opposed strength roll as this thing tries to pull you towards it. All right, let's see. Yeah. Uh, it's a 60, 69. That's a failure. <laughs> nice. Would you uh, like to... Inspire it. Inspire. Yeah, do it. I don't need to inspire it. Well, it was good. Ah, damn it. All right. So, yeah, with a 12, you do not get pulled uh, further towards it. Um, uh, you're next. Oh, wait, the other, so, but it does delay you and the other one is coming up. So now the other one has risen up on its weird tentacles. Uh, he will he'll try to kick his way out of this and keep running as best he can. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make you an offer. You can make a brawl roll and try and, and kick out of this thing, or you can just make a strength roll to try and rip away. Um, if Whichever one you do, the strength roll will be opposed. The brawl roll will be a dodge for the- Brawl is better. So he, he'll definitely take that one. Okay. That's uh, 60, inspire that. Inspire that. Paradise, inspire. treating me right. Birds of paradise. Drya. Regular success 42. I rolled an ought one. Oh. Thank you, Birds of Paradise, as uh -huh. always. So with an ought one, like you try and pull away and you get knocked off your feet and you're starting to get pulled. Like we, with the, the camera is like pulling down the hallway of the hotel towards the exit as Donald is like grabbing onto the carpet and like pulling up the runner as he's being pulled towards this thing. 
Uh, okay. Uh, that was 80s, 70s. You are, Alexander, you are down the stairs. Do I hear anything from Donald? Does he like shout? Or some, some cries of, ugh, and ah, whatever. Yeah, you, heard, you definitely heard a thump. All right. Against my better judgment, I'm going to come back up the stairs and like, you know, have it, have it, have my have my nightgown up over my nose and mouth for the smoke. Okay. And look you, to see if you I can pass stop Emma them. carrying a satchel full of hand grenades. <laughs> of all the things He's to gonna be well received in the lobby. <laughs> of all the things to rescue. All right. You told me grenades. <laughs> I said there's a never mind. I don't know, and I'm gonna like stick my head back up and into the hall and look. <laughs> Oh, man. If if we could somehow get inflection, you told me grenades would be a, an episode title. Right? <laughs> you told me grenade. <laughs> uh, all right. So you are running back. Yeah, you see Donald getting pulled towards that tentacle thing, like just grabbing with his hands, trying to like find purchase for anything. All right. Um, can I? Hmm. I can't decide if I want to get to him and like help pull him and add my strength to his because my, my strength isn't great. Or if I want to try to cut him loose. Would either of those be possible? Well, this round, you're just going to be getting, if this round you're choosing, if you're going to move, stay where you are or move towards the thing. Okay. That's Do I of... see the second one? Oh, yes. Is it between me and him? No, it's behind. It's coming up behind the first one. Okay, then I'm you going guys, to... You guys are at one end of the hallway, they're at the other. Okay. Donald no, is I... now in the middle. Okay. I'm going to run back to him. Okay. All right. So you will, this turn, you uh, you will get to Donald. Uh, Joan. Did I get back to the front door? You are in the lobby. Oh, okay. So I, I'm in the lobby in my disheveled nightgown. Yeah, you walk in in a nightgown. The doorman is like, I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, uh, we, we require dress in this hotel. Uh, my dress is upstairs. There was some horrible person who came and into my room and I escaped. Uh, you're and I tell him the room number and who I am and all that stuff. All right, yeah, this round you will get in the hotel with that. Yeah, right. okay. Um, that was uh, that, uh, Emma. So I'm still are you going to go downstairs? Told, yeah, Alexander told me to go downstairs, right? right so. Well, actually, she yelled at me, why did you save the grenades? I said, you said so. <laughs> you are you are running downstairs with a satchel full of grenades and mythos notes. Uh, and maybe receipts, we're not sure. Uh, nope, no receipts. <laughs> it's not how we roll here. Receipts are burning now. Yeah, uh, yeah. So you, yeah, you start heading downstairs with the, with the bag. Uh, all right, uh, Donald, make me a, well, I'm going to make you uh, the same offer if you want to do the fight or the strength. He's going to keep trying to kick it, brawl with it, try to break, break free with, yeah, with strong kicks. Uh-oh. I don't like it when he makes that face. Well, let me I know, know if you need this. Yes, I got 68, it's not good enough, so I'll need that. Use I'll it, use it. No. 37 is a regular success, but then but it's not a hard success. Yeah. All right, you you have now been pulled up into the air uh, by this by 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 one of them, and the second one um, is coming up to wrap you up as well. So you are well and truly uh, wrapped up, and um, it's at this point that you notice in horror in the first one. There's at least two grenades that are kind of just stuck in its tentacles. Uh, so that's an 18, and you're you've got your next action. You have been pulled uh, um, up in the air. You are you are you know you're about three feet up in the air. Um, you are very close to the piece of paper. You are very close to being fully wrapped up by this thing. I, he was. Does he still have his satchel, <laughs> or is it on the floor somewhere? His. Oh no, the duffel. Well, huh. You know what? Uh, make me make me a luck roll. That, that is a failure on my luck. 
You drop the satchel is on the ground. We can inspire. Do we, it. do we want him to have a satchel or no? That's up to Andrea. It's closer to the satchel, actually. Satchel is where weapons are. Yeah. He's, all he has is the 45. Um, and it's pissed. all he has is a 45. <laughs> Boy, that's. I'm pretty sure there's two grenades that are within reach if you really want to. <laughs> well, um, he's been kicking and kicking and he can't seem to get beat this thing with that. So he's going to try it once again and to shoot the paper and see if he can cause it to drop him. If maybe he I would love a fumble. Just love a fumble. Is this going to be a, 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 about a that? disadvantage or regular, regular roll? This is a regular shot. Yeah, because you're super close to this thing. Oh, Perfect. man. do How much do I love Andrea? Uh, how much do I love Andrea? The answer is so much. Not as much as I do right now. Oh, so much. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart. <laughs> Inspiration on this one? Yes. Yes. I mean, do you want to bother? Yes. I'm going to try. Eight. Yeah, we want to make it less worse. I thought it's a hard success, not a, not a hard success. All right, so its dodge was a critical success. Whoa, we just got oh, raided wow. again. Welcome oh, wow. to the DMP Hi. Network. Yeah. Thank you so DMP much for raiding Network. us. Hi, guys. Um, yeah. You are in the middle of watching several of our people fighting weird, uh, horrible tentacle monsters as they're blowing up a hotel. Not, oh. Wait a minute. The grammarians out there, the monsters aren't blowing up the hotel. The players are blowing up the hotel. Are not? No. <laughs> it, gra I mean, it grabbed the, the grenade. It dropped the grenade. Who and brought the grenades to the hotel? That was not me. <laughs> you, I knew what was going to happen. <laughs> I fully understood. What this next episode is called <laughs> Chekhov's Grenade. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, you um, uh, uh, you try and shoot this thing, and it just dodges out of the way with with an unearthly grace, which I believe is fifty in Marvel superheroes. Uh, no, wait, unearthly was eighty. But anyway, uh, so um, that was you on a seventy, Alexandra. Uh, I'm I'm going to just like try and cut him loose from 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 the tentacles as best as I can. Okay, make yeah, make me a knife roll. Uh, for those of you who just raided us, by the way, we're giving away a Nord Games deck. So hit chaos in the chat every time we're raided. We give something away. This is our third of four giveaways this episode. Wow! So ca chaos in the chat for a chance to win a Nord Games deck. What was your knife roll? Hot oh. nine. Yay. Oh man! That All is right, a Andrea. Need, for me. need some help here, Andrea. <laughs> don't. don't. All right, roll your damage. Yes, uh, with a critical. Wait, how much G? How much GM inspiration do I have? I don't know. Enough to be a hot nine. <laughs> this. Oops. Oh my gosh, I have a lot. Plenty. Yeah. yeah. Well, I. Up. Oh, that's that's an Amy. Woo! Get yourself on the Amy board, friend. Moving up the leaderboard. I don't know if I'm. Am, am I included in that? I don't know. All Good right. Thing. So roll your damage. So that's two D four plus four. Yes. Wait, you got a critical uh, success, right? That is nine points of damage, five plus four. All right, so with nine points of damage, you like stab up to try it. You, you, you know, you're like, I'm gonna cut Donald down. But instead you stab up and you tear the paper right through the, the writing in Chinese. And as soon as you do that, the thing just disappears immediately. And Donald hits the ground, thud. Hurry. <laughs> let's go. Uh, there's still one more. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be like, sorry, let's go. <laughs> uh, all right, so that was 70s. 60s, Joan, you are now in the lobby of the hotel. For comedy's reasons, you see Emma walk down the stairs <laughs> with a with your bag of grenades. I'm in a yes. fast walk as well. Like, nothing, everything's fine. I'm yeah. just fast, like, tight-legged, like, fast walking. <laughs> like, did you see that person that tried to get me in my room? Yes. Yes, I did. He also tried to get me. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow. Where, where's, where is our rest of our friends? Upstairs in their rooms. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Um, hey, Let's go. Uh, Joan, make me a, make me an intelligence roll. I hope <laughs> you fumble this. Me too. If you fumble this, you <laughs> think this is an Emma clone. Ooh. I did. No. 
No, I didn't fumble. I didn't fumble. Oh, I didn't fumble. Okay. I didn't make it. I didn't right. make it. This Emma is a very weird Emma. And frankly, that's saying something. Yeah. <laughs> very weird Emma is. Sure. <laughs> do we want like, to inspire that? We have we have the inspo. No, she has we? great intelligence. Is she that weird though? I because mean, this is Emma kinda, with grenades. You want me to, you want me to try to roll again? I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna second okay. it if you want it. All right. Okay. I don't know how many we have left, but whatever. It just occurred to me, by the way, that the DAT network are the folks who were in the carbon mitten, right? Yep. yep. Yes. Nice. It was uh, oh. Jared and Diana. Nice. I, I made it just regular. Didn't okay. Okay. down so, yeah. I mean, Emma's weird, but you know. Oh, okay. Emma. I was going to say, it's, you know. It's Tuesday. Can I, can I get Emma my bag? Like, no, can I get my bag? All of a sudden, Emma's turned into David Byrne. Everything's fine. I have this for just people. Keep walking. <laughs> Why is this suit so big? <laughs> Can I get uh, my bag? Can I get my right. bag? So um, she's trying to take the bag from you, Emma. Are you fine with that? Totally fine. Yeah. We need a new hotel. <laughs> I'm okay, happy good. with no grenades here. Are you, uh, probably you're just going to the bar. Is that my guess? <laughs> That's where I'm I was thinking going. about it. I was actually going to tell Joan. So if I get to like bounce forward, I just grab Joan by there and be like, we need to get the bicycle and we need to get out of here. <laughs> the bicycles but were in the, her bicycle is down in the front of the hotel. Your bicycle sadly was in your room. Yeah, That's right. what I'm saying. I'm like, we need to get your bicycle side, and get out of here. Might be on the street now. Okay, so but what about the rest? What about the rest? They were right. What do you? I thought they were right behind me. <laughs> Saw Alexandria running back up. <laughs> I heard, get the grenade, run, and I just kept running. <laughs> does Does Emma know that there's a standing invitation to spend the night at Madame? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. the, Emma's had that standing in. It's not a standing invitation for Emma. It's a laying invitation. <laughs> yeah. for ah, no. <laughs> So yeah, I just grabbed Joan and I was like, I thought everybody was behind me. I don't know what's happening here. Here's your satchel. The thing is still upstairs. We just got to get out of here. Do we need to get them? Okay, I'll wait here. <laughs> I just love that there's explosions upstairs and Emma's just like, here's the back of grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Are you going to go upstairs? Give me the bag, give me the bag back. <laughs> We've got to get them. We've got to get them and get out. All right, don't you, two are, you two are okay. bickering yes, downstairs. we're bickering yeah. downstairs. All right, um, on an 80, the one that is remaining, both of you, Alexandra and Donald, need to make dodge rolls. Here we go. Yeah, 12. 11. That's hard success. All right, uh, both of you make me luck rolls to see which one of you gets the Birds of Paradise roll and which one of you gets the normal. The worst roll gets the Birds of Paradise roll. All right. I got 26. 88. Woohoo! All right. Uh, so the normal dice were crappy. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to GM inspire the normal dice. I know. Oh, that after the luck roll. Much <laughs> better. Much better. What'd you get, Donald? So my dodge roll, dodge roll or the luck roll? Dodge roll. The dodge roll was a 12. God so, dog it. Is that a hard success? Hard success. All right. Nothing happens. Alexandra, what was your dodge roll? 11. I tried, Andrea. Your dice rolled a 19, but they're just, oh. they're rolling too well. So um, more of those tentacles come shooting out, but you both uh, get out of the way from the one that is left. I just snatch my my duffel bag on the way out as a yeah, running. Yeah, duffel bag is on the way to the stairs. Yeah, that's what. Uh, yeah, so, think... all right, we're going to come out of initiatives now. It's going to, ch um, this thing is chasing you down the stairs. Let's run. Run. So you're, you're, you're about as fast as it, so, but you hear the I'm going to hear that in my nightmares. As it's coming behind you. Um, oh! What happened to the two grenades when that one dissolved? They just dropped. Uh, make me, both of you make me luck rolls. All right. <laughs> a 40 is a success on my luck. 23, hard success. Okay, uh, both somehow both of these grenades hit the ground and do not blow up. Uh, uh, darn it. Uh, so yeah, this thing is chasing after you. Um, so you will come bursting down the stairs and you see Joan and Emma sort of like pushing like this bag of grenades back and forth. Run! 
What the hell are you two doing? Run! Uh, uh, okay. As we come up, the hotel detective has now come up to Joan and Emma, and actually comes up to Joan and says, um, "Ma'am, are, are you all right? Do you? Um, I'm afraid we require dress at this hotel." Somebody came into my room, and that's how I, I and I had to escape. Oh my God! Someone came into your room? Yes. Yes. Uh. What's your room number? You you tell him your room yeah, number. Yeah, yeah. All right, he's gonna start heading up the stairs, and no. so he will. No, no, don't go there. Don't go does, there. Does he see us come barreling he down the stairs? He sees you come barreling down the stairs, like <laughs> smoky and uh, uh, that's all this out of stuff. hell. Um, and uh, somehow is he? Somehow he's unaware that there that it was a massive explosion up there. Um. And um, he said, and he's like, "Oh, excuse me, I need to, I need to get up to the fourth floor." Is the purple thing still behind us? Like, oh like, yes. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like grab, grab the investigator and say, "Don't, don't, 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 don't." Uh, excuse me. Look, ma'am. I'm, I'm gonna like point at, at, at the floating. Oh. At, at the, te- the technical right. thing. Oh like, yeah, he sees it, and you know he, <laughs> he sees it, and he does not like what he sees, and he starts running. Him. He's like. What is that? Come on! Run! We'll explain right, later, run. run! He'll say, you go, go, I'll save you. And he pulls out a, a snub-nosed pistol. Oh, honey. <laughs> and he takes a shot and misses. Yeah, I, I, know, I know the feeling. <laughs> I, I, I want to like grab at his jacket and like haul him as far, as far as I can down the stairs and be like, come on! Um, Okay, yeah, you're gonna, you start dragging him. Uh, I'm gonna make you an offer. You can drag him down the stairs, but it will slow you down enough that this thing will get to uh, 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 take an attack, or you can ditch him and get away. It's just gonna take him to Ho Fang. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> no, it's gonna take him to uh, Stanford. Yeah. That'd be funny. No. <laughs> a little. No, I... Well, what's your choice? I'm going to help him. All right. Yeah. So, he's, um, he's innocent in this. Donald, she is, she's grabbed the hotel investigator. Uh, I'll make you an offer. Yeah. You can, um, <coughs> if you help her as well, I'll give the monster a penalty die on each roll to attack all three of you. Or you can beat it. It'll have the normal attack, but it won't attack you. He's not going to leave her behind, so he's okay. He'll stay and unfortunately, right. I'll help her. So, all of you make both of you make me dodge rolls. Five. Ah, just shy. All right, Thirty that was made Donald. It. Missed it by that much. All right, so Donald, I got a inspire. With, we have inspire. with the penalty die. I got a twenty-three on you. Yeah, let me inspire that then. Okay. okay. No, that's worse. That's, that's an Amy. Amy. On the list. Thomas is a sneaky member of the leaderboard. <laughs> and, oh, wow. Um, yeah, so it doesn't get a chance to, like, its tentacles get tangled up trying to get to you and the investigator, and they, like, miss both of you because it fumbled badly. Fantastic. Um. So, Donald, it, the thing has grabbed onto you in a very familiar feeling. Uh, not again. So, uh, this will be an opposed strength roll. Right, Try to break free one more time. I am rolling terrible. Uh, All right. The 94 is not a fumble. Not a fumble, but not great. No. Not great, Bob. Yeah. Uh, you could inspire it. How much inspiration do we have? Three. So much. Oh, oh, yeah! You Damn could inspire. It. You could spend luck. You'd have to spend like 60 luck. You'd have to spend like I mean, all of the luck. I mean, oh. we need to get out of here. Let's do it. All right. We're down, we're down to two inspiration now. 68 is not going to do it, though. All right. You, you get yanked towards this thing. Uh, and uh, the, the, the investigator has now decided he wants no part of this. And he is heading downstairs. So, Alexandra, you have a choice. You can stay and help Donald, in which case you're going to be open to attack, or you can head downstairs. I'm going to stay and make an attack on this thing. All right. We have to destroy this thing somehow. It's not going to stop. So I'm going to bring in. Uh, I'm going to bring in Joan and Emma. Uh, mm-hmm. Are you? Are you get? 
you're not going upstairs, right? You're waiting for them to come down. All right. So the private, so last round, you saw the private investigator, go, the, the hotel investigator go up the stairs. Yep. This round, he comes down going, call the police, call the police. Did you find him? Him? Mr. It. Stanford. It, call the police. All right, uh, Donald and uh, Alexandra against uh, Tentacle Beast. So uh, uh, the camera comes up the stairs from the lobby where they are talking with that, and it turns at the landing, and it turns just in time to see uh, one of the tentacles around Donald's forearms like yank him up the stairs, and Alexandra, like with two knives out, starts heading up the stairs as well. Uh, and so first it goes, and it's gonna take, um, uh, uh, Alexandra, you're gonna need to make a dodge roll. I'm gonna roll the Birds of Paradise on this one. Oof. Don't do it. I'm gonna use GM Inspiration on this one. <laughs> the Birds of Paradise never let me down. I'm gonna roll the exact same thing. 13. Uh, you do not, nothing happens to you. Uh, Tom, a post strength check. Again? I gotta change my dice. All right. So 81's a failure, and this, these dice are. Put them in jail. Yeah. Threaten them with the freezer. Yeah. You know, Birds of Paradise are readily available from the, their website. You, it's I, true. There are some beautiful uh, Arizona inspired. Right, so this thing got a critical success. And so um, it is going to, uh, you have been dragged all the way up. You are dragged through the paper. Donald disappears. Oh, God. And that is where we're going to end this episode. <laughs> we just, because we, I, I'm assuming it's us from LD Brat 1. Oh. Well, for player inspiration. Thank you. You want to make an inspiration roll? You'd need a critical success to beat this thing. I mean, we've got plenty. Although, it's not I'll, plenty. I'll, I'll give you this. Four, right? Tom, yeah. I'll give you this. If you get a hard success, it won't pull you all the way into it. And this is a strength check, right? Yes. What right. It's opposed, and it got a critical success. So you need at least a hard success here. Andrea, you're, you're, you're dies at Christmas. <laughs> oh, it's Birds of Paradise versus Birds of Paradise. Fight. Please. <laughs> it's a regular success, a 34. <sighs> All right. So, yeah, you get sucked up into this piece of paper. Uh, and the tentacles go whoop, into the paper and the paper, the, the, the closing scene is Alexandra going, no, as she leaps forward and the paper just floating to the ground like that. So cinematic. I'm imagining yeah. that mirror from the Superman movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Donald in the negative zone. Uh, so that that's gonna do it for uh, this episode. We have uh, YouTube. It's now time. Now you get to play along. We have a digital copy of the Call of Cthulhu starter set for our YouTube watchers. All you have to do, as you know, when we play this game, we keep track of two stats. We keep track of Amy's. That's when someone uses inspiration and rolls worse. And we keep track of Emma's. That's when someone rolls inspiration and fumbles. So you need to tell me, you get one guess. I'm gonna take the first guess you write if you try and write multiple ones, who you think has the most combination Amy's and Emma's. Because, uh, uh, well, no, I won't give you any hints, but who you think has the most combination Amy's and Emma's. Is, uh, is, is Amy in the competition for this? Because she Emma is- Emma is part of the competition. Yeah. It is named after Part definitely. of the competition. Yeah, uh, I was about to say, it is my namesake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so again, YouTube, put your guesses in the uh, in the comments on on our YouTube on this on this episode, and we will pick one per, one of the people who is right to win a Call of Cthulhu starter set. Uh, thank you so much, DAT Network and Knights of Knights of Death. Was it Knights of Death? <laughs> Feels like it. There was I a, mean, a, I anyway. A, it was Knights of Something. I really apologize. That was a long time ago, but you guys stuck with us and we, we, we really appreciate it. So thank you both for the raids. That was awesome. Lonely Yeti, thank you for the gifts of uh, the Cthulhu starter sets. Uh, 
Jay Matthews, thank you for the subscriptions. There was somebody else who I don't remember who did subscriptions. It was all sorts of craziness tonight. It was awesome. Uh, our quotes. So here are our possible um, episode titles. Uh, we need some explosives and bicycles. Death to the patriarchy. We stopped at one bar. Honesty is the best policy, question mark. <laughs> um, I don't think we can back out at this point. Uh, <laughs> I think this is what I thought I was thinking. Uh, it's under the bed, just get it. And you told me grenades. I'm leaning towards we need some explosives and bicycles. Yes. Um, yes. Especially with how this episode's gone. But I'm not, you know, I wonder what that would do to, uh, to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> um, so again, uh, uh, we have another week of Quests and Chaos goodness for you. Monday, we're back to Carbon 2185. They'll be doing another 80s movie. Uh, I think it's The Breakfast Club this time. They're all, they're, they're gonna spend the whole episode in detention. Uh, Tiana's the bad boy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very exciting. I think that's, that's The Breakfast I mean, I'm, Club. I'm the barbarian, the way, doctor, of course I am. Not to admit that I ever watched this stuff, but Warren in VR was really cool. Like I Wasn't wanna, I wanna know how that had, that was, that was neat. Uh, I'm I'm very uh, I'm very interested in how that happened. That was that was super cool. Um, so Monday, Carbon Twenty One Eighty Five doing uh, uh, doing interpretive dance to the Breakfast Club. Tuesday, it's the Chaos Agents doing non-interpretive dance. They're just it's really flailing. We're they're going doing. shopping. Yeah, they're going shopping. That's right. We That's get right. new clothes. I'm very excited about this. Uh, and then Saturday. We're back here for another episode of uh, uh, Call of Cthulhu. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll all be getting new clothes as well. Yeah, <laughs> along with Jacob and I only have nightgowns at this point. Yeah, yeah most of your Same. luggage has like, now been blown up. Who knows yeah. where Donald is? Um, I don't, I got to figure that out actually. Oh, uh, shit. And um, yeah, we will, uh, 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 we'll be back next week. We'll be uh, uh, there. Thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes on Twitch, on YouTube, on MySpace, on wherever you find us. Just if there was Bing social media, we'd be all over that. I think that's it. Uh, and don't forget to take a minute, if you haven't already, to go to our YouTube page, hit that subscribe button. We have playlists for all of our uh, games. You can catch up on back episodes. You can also see us play some board games uh, on that. Try and play board games on there. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff. So I think with that, uh, we're going to call it an evening. Goodbye, internet friends. <laughs>